find a better link. Hello, no one. Nobody's here. <laughs> oh. See how long it takes for like someone to come without me even posting it. Okay, this is taking too long. We got nobody. Somebody. Who? I don't know who. Oh. I need to post it. Okay. Oh, we got three people. <gasps> Hello, Pasha's Pets. Pets. Hello. Hello. Amy. Everybody. Oh my gosh, everyone's finding it. I'm glad. I hadn't posted this. Hi, everybody. Sorry we're late. Mike had to go out. Yeah, and we were at, okay, so we were at a dinner with Ryan's aunt. My auntie. And that's why I didn't know a specific time, because there was no, like, end time no. to dinner. It's so, rude like, to just cancel the people. Yeah. Like, so, okay, gotta go. Bye. But we still want to come on. Hi, Cynthia. So. Hi, Flip It Good. I'm posting. Yeah. So. Um, sorry if I sound like I eat cigarettes. <laughs> I am sick. I have a cold. I'm not contagious. You know, nobody worry. I don't have the coronavirus. I what have. was for dinner? Um, oh, we had Chinese. Wait, I had someone said, soup. Ryan, can you say, Yo quiero Taco Bell? Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> um, what was for dinner? We had Chinese food because oh I love God, Chinese I food. I had egg drop soup to help my illnesses. I had chicken and homemade. I love egg drop soup. It's so good. Hey, Brandy. So passing. Hello, Rails. Thrifting, how are you? How was you guys' sales week? I feel like I've heard the extremes. I've heard like oh my god, I made terrible, a million dollars, and then I've and heard like oh my gosh, I've just like my house I is made of dollar bills. Oh my god, Pasha pets soups can work wonders. Oh, you ate pho. pho. But one time I tried pho, pho, <gasps> pho. I like, didn't really okay, like it that much. Oh my god, I love sad pho. week. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So right? My week was my week was okay. Not as good as last week, but it was still pretty decent. Love all that jazz in your background. Yeah. Um, and, and you could Goodwill. just like watch the progression of the lives. The we bins. just keep getting more and more decor. The bins. These little star At the bins I found this string of lights that had like these wicker stars on them. The lights didn't work, but I was like, you know, let's just rip Take the stars, stars off. off. And so now that I got these stars. I just got a big um canvas print of like the faces um, of the moon that I'm gonna put like right here too, probably. Or maybe cool. over the TV. Yeah, we'll put that over the TV. Okay, now I posted the live. So yeah. hopefully this 36 will go up. Hi, 36 and 37. Wow. Yeah, and then this was Goodwill. Because like I said, our Goodwill in Minneapolis is... They get Target donations. They get a ton of Target stuff. That's amazing. Um, and then the this, tassels. there's flower lights that you can't really see. Okay, Google. Turn, the Turn Christmas on the Christmas light. lights. Yeah, these Magic. are flower lights. They're and so then cute. there's like Opal House tassels. The tassels. They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> We're here for it. Thank you, Mandy. Um, also, Mandy, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Um, can I have your children? Please. Cynthia said that she'll come cook you chicken noodle soup and give you popsicles. Oh my god, this is amazing. Are you kidding me? I think I'm like, we're on the downhill slide, you know? It's just that, like, Thank nasty... you to the five of you that gave us thumbs up. We love you. <laughs> it's just the, like, I blow my nose every two seconds. Yeah. And it's awful. And I sound the like The eight of you, my, my eight favorites. And oh now there's god. 40 people here. Hi, everybody. Nine. I should give myself a thumbs up. So I can... We should do that. Sorry if I don't have oh, any teeth oh, in. Oh, and I can't give myself a thumbs up. That's sad. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just be sans teeth. What sexy, ta sexy, what sexy tassel lights you have? I thank you. Thank you. I appreciate them a lot. Lights. Um, would you guys ever visit New York? I have been to New York. Oh, and I Mandy flips out. It. Just a side note. I um, mean. I think I saw. We've been so busy all day, but I think I saw a notification come in that you responded to my DM. I'm going to send you. You video. probably gave me your email, so I'm going to send you the video that we made for you and Reese. I'm so excited. Um, oh my like God, that tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, but I have it on my phone. That <gasps> package was Kristen like Kristen and Jordan. Oh my God, that was adorable. Are you kidding me? Those crayons. I have three kids. They've all been sick. my heart. Oh my gosh. Hi, Kristen and Jordan. <gasps> hey, guys. Glad you were finally here. Hey, Kristen and Jordan. <laughs> Saw all your nice finds on Instagram. Yeah, Kristen. <laughs> Jealous. Oh my gosh, Mandy, Reese is such a sweetheart. My angel child. Are you kidding me? She's so sweet. She's so sweet. 
We'll okay. wait till we get to like. Let me find like the start of we'll my show. We'll wait until the viewers so at least be like, like stop a little going prepared. Up. Kind of for a hot sec, and then we'll do our what's on Saturday. Oh my god, why did they sell all this? Hmm? I'm trying to find the. 15th. I have yet to sell any of this. <gasps> Cynthia. Cynthia for pop, pop cycles. cycles. Yes. <laughs> god. Oh my gosh, we love you, Cynthia. I can eat. I can. Oh my god, what I've been doing. Yeah, is... we'll use that $1.99 and we'll go get her in some day quill. No, or I got Dayquil. plenty of day quill. We'll what I've been Dayquil. doing is I'm doing honey. And then I'm just taking a little spoonful of honey to make my throat not good, so it's great. Oh my gosh, Pasha Pets, you do not feel like you need to give us any money. If you give us any money, please, please like, give that money to your tax not. man. Do, do not, yeah. Do that. Put give it towards it to, your give tax it to payments. not your dad's CPA. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this one off because it's hot under these lights. Ugh. Yes, I'm Oh, and Cynthia, do you like my shirt? My t shirt has holes in it. She goes, no. She just says, I She hate goes, it. ew, take that ugly thing off. <laughs> Picked up some Mercedes Castillo. Oh my god, I freaking wish I found Mercedes Castillo more. Like you found them in the thrift? Gee, right. We've only found Mercedes Castillo at like a consignment shop. I've never found it at the. Oh my god, I asked him to do thrift. 2018 and 2019. <laughs> so yeah. Do you sell a lot of the Target home decor finds? No, because no, they always we keep, keep it. them. <laughs> but like. <laughs> listed. Oh, it's James who bought the Birkenstocks from me. Hi, James. Hi. Um, I've never sold any of the Opal House stuff because I've kept it all. If mm -hmm. I found repeat items, I probably would. Except this wreath was like seven bucks. I'm not like sure how much I could sell it for to like make yeah, money. Yeah, especially if it's just Target. But I mean, like I know the, the bins, I would expensive. probably. Yeah. Oh, I have before. I picked up. Have um, you started your taxes? Yes, I actually. Have my taxes completely filled out. I just am nervous to hit submit just because, like, I don't really know why. But I they're on TurboTax just sitting there. I need you to help me with that. I owe, like, $20. <laughs> I oh, don't know how. For what? I think like it's for state. state. Yeah. I don't know if I owe anything to state. I mean, like, probably a little bit because when I used to work at the Play-Doh's Closet. Dig your crock. Don't know what that means. <laughs> Cynthia, what does that mean? You guys ever sell any large men's clothes? You could line it up. I could have it up. Um, James, whenever I find like bigger men's stuff, it's always in like the worst shape. Like it's always like there's a stain on yeah. it or there's a hole or the pants. We have, don't. Like, some neither of us. Stains. Neither of us like discriminate sizes for no. men's or women. So like, if I found bigger men's stuff, I would totally sell it that I liked. But we don't do too much men's in general. No, because no, men, I feel like wear their clothes to like. Like threads, they wear it till it's like the jean rivet, and then like two pieces of cotton holding them together. So Cal surf lingo. Okay, see, we are not Californians. Cynthia, we are I am the complete opposite. Painfully are, from the Midwest. Can you see how pale we are? We are Midwesterners. In the winter, okay, I'm done bringing the vibe down. Vibe <laughs> chat, Kristen canceled. Oh my gosh, no, yeah, that's why I do all my taxes. Over the whole year, and like as things saw in Mercari, I put them into my Excel. Yeah, because like I, I do not want to scroll through Mercari at the end I of the year. My head sheet, my you head change sheet, your hair color. Okay, so I'm like midway through changing it. That's why I'm not showing it. But, but we like, try not to go bald. Since I'm black mm -hmm. hair normally, it's not that easy to like hop on to being like blonde instantly. So like it worked on the sides, but I need Top this to grow out a little bit more so yeah. I can like cut off the stuff that still has color. I Kristen just got brown. Um, like your shirt. This is frock. I think that's what that means. <laughs> okay, we're like, still clueless, and we don't. Your somehow frock, this is I a, think means like like your outfit. Somehow this is a frock. Is yours frock? Mine's garbage. How dumb do we sound? Like? All these like people who know what that means are like. Mm. It's, it's, do y'all expect the St. John's on posh, or will you eventually send it to the real real or throw it up Lux? I've had a great St. John Duster cardigan. I just can't move. So I have sold St. John. I am going before. to list yeah, all. Yeah, frock is an outfit. Like, dig your outfit. Um, We're just clueless Midwesterners. Yes. We like cornfields. Um, I'm going to list all the St. John on. Uh, I almost said Play Doh's. On Poshmark. And maybe eBay? 
Yeah, I think eBay. I and it if it doesn't sell after a while, I'll just send it to the <laughs> real world. They just don't price it up that high. <laughs> Ooh. And as Excuse you know, me. we're a household that doesn't use Threat of Lux anymore. So. I meant when Ryan was talking. No, literally, Heather is a perfect example of this. I bought this shirt pre-distressed, and then it's just gotten worse. Like, it's awful. There's, like, so many holes in it. I like that shirt, though. I, I like that color. I love this shirt. I bought it when I was, like, uh, thank you, Dana. I bought it when I was, like, a sophomore in high school, and I was kind of too fat for it for a little bit. But now we've kind of evened her out. I love it. And James I love says, clothes. I live in Oregon and work at the Goodwill. I've seen Nicole many times, and she's a great person. I love watching you guys. You're both so fun. We you. met Nicole well, at Posh Fest, but we didn't. We didn't meet her at the convention. We didn't get we a talk to her at the her mass party. Much, but she was nice. No, we she was to her. Busy. We literally talked to her for like, like talked, 15 or 10 minutes. We it was talked not about um, her daughter's school. And how I would like to <laughs> yeah. teach her one. She her daughter goes to a Waldorf school. <laughs> Selling tradesy, I do. Yes, I have just soon. recently started putting some things on tradesy. I have like fifty things over there, mm -hmm. but I really have liked the very small experience I've had with tradesy. It just like out of nowhere, I'll get an email that says you made a sale on tradesy, and it's like That's a three hundred dollar so item. My That's three amazing. sales on tradesy are some fry boots for three hundred bucks, some um, a Tory Burch cardigan for two fifty. And a Gucci watch for like three hundred. I sold a pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes for ninety, ninety nine, something like that. It was a lot for Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Cynthia said your shirt looks like it's from the movie The Birds. It does, and it looks like he's been attacked by the birds. And they hides me, a bird victim, pick pick picking at my body, <laughs> picking <laughs> just picking There's... picking 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 at my body. <laughs> That's funny. That's. That's what is a Waldorf school? How do see a Waldorf school as a school based? Hi guys, like... it's one of your grandma fans. Hello, Deborah. That's Hi, my mother's Deborah. name. That's my best friend's mom's name. And your fiance's mom's name. And your mom, but no, yes. I, okay. I Jack's mom's name Deborah, but she gets like mad at you if you call her Deborah. So or I Deb. always, I no, always she's call mad her... if you call her Deb. Oh, so I always call she's her Debbie. like Debbie, but like my best friend's mom, Lauren's mom, is Deborah. But we always call her Deb. So I'm always like. Uh, Hello Thrifty at Waldorf School is like another, it's like an alternative school for um, elementary kids. And it's a, based off of like hands on learning and like they design their own curriculum. It's really great. Sending love from our, our, from M NM. I can't read today. Sorry, Lisa. Do you count has kind of slowed, so we could do what's on Saturday. My kids call me Queen. Okay. Good. Cynthia, you deserve, you deserve that. Another grandma fan here. Hello, Big Mac. <gasps> Big Mac. I haven't had a Big Mac in so long. Okay. It's good, but God, I have one. Let's do another interactive What's on Saturday. Will you guys tell us how many you had okay, on the days? Okay, wait. One, two, Okay, what was the first day? 15th? 15th. How many did you guys have on the 15th? That was my head. I had two. I haven't counted yet. I'm not prepared. We had a busy day. I don't have time to prepare. Oh, my this. God. Okay, so we, we have been running around... We met my parents an hour and a half away because it's kind of like town. it's in between where we live and where they live in Des Moines um, for lunch. And we were like, oh, like, we'll, you know, kind of mess around Ames for a little bit and go to the Goodwill there because that was the Goodwill where, like, we both, like, started this, which was so fun. And then we went to the TJs because, oh, my God, they have a good TJs. And then we had to go. Posh the bedside and then. Oh. I had, so I, to I had five. five. Simply done. Good for you, four. Riley. Riley had two. Sorry, I had there, two. I had two. Okay, so my first one on the 15th. I haven't listed in over a month. Posh with pets. Was this pair of Aritzia Levi's. They had you this cute, this? one of them. They had this cute distressing at the front. I have three more pair of these in size 32 and 31. I have a 26. Two pairs of 26s, one pair of 27s. They're two not pairs the same thing, though. Oh, never mind. Ignore that. Um, and they sold for thirty-five bucks and gave me twenty-eight. And then my other sale was this Athleta, like open wrapped style cardigan, and I accepted an offer of twenty-four, and so I got nineteen twenty. Okay, first thing I sold a four-item bundle, so buckle her up. Um, okay, first was this UMG V-neck bolo printed bolo boho printed tassel dress, small boho. Hit them keywords. 
Next was an Anthropology Pilk Rose Superscript Flare Jeans. Um, Free People Burgundy Cozy on shirt embroidered small. My titles sound terrible. When I read them back to myself, I'm like, oh my god, I sound Mine like good. I sound like I can't read. Next was this Free People Weed Free Layered Piper Twofer. Okay, so here we'll do pictures. Here is the um, G. Super cute. Here are the. If I can like click on it, click on it. Here are the anthropology jeans. Um, here is the cozy on free people top. It's like burgundy. Super cute. Um, okay, I don't want to click on the buyer's name. Here is the free people twofer. Side note, if you Google a free people style name, so like the cozy on top was at Ace House, I tend to use the ASOS pictures because they are very good and very hip. Or the free people picture. Or the free people picture, yeah. But if I can't find a good one, I'll use the ASOS pictures. Um, and this woman, who is a viewer, so if you're watching, hello, sent me a very nice message and I sent her um, $100 with free shipping for the whole bundle and I made $72.89. Next was this new without tag Lululemon Festival crossbody. This was a consignment store find. I saw her post these on uh, Ryan, why do you have a baby safe bumper on your phone? So I don't lose it. It's coach. It's massive. And I love it. Um, these were our consignment store find. I saw our consignment store, Queen Carla, posted these on her Instagram. And we went to Close Mentor to go to the $2 sale. And I said, thank you. I'll take both of them. She had two. So this is one. And it was super cute. The woman never used it. Um, I didn't actually end up getting to post pictures of the actual bag. If I could have had. Posted it for 67 And I got an offer of 64 Instantly, May fifty one twenty. Okay. Okay. I had a few questions. I saw that I'm going to answer. Just waiting for you to be done. Okay. Sorry, I'm a long time. I'm going to rapid fire some of these questions. My bad. Do you both sell just on Posh besides Real Real? No, we have some on eBay, some on Mercari, some on um, Trade. We dip our little toes everywhere. Mainly Posh. Yes. Um, I'm requesting a long ball of video. Your request is denied, Christian. <laughs> what? Just kidding. About you. Um, Aritzia Levi's. So Levi's can be sold at Dolls Kill, Anthropology, Free People. <laughs> Um, Aritzia. I just said that. I'm not paying attention. Um, I'm sorry. Levi's are sold like a lot of different places, but it's usually like the yes. really new styles mm -hmm. or the really, really out there styles. So if you find them, you can give them a look or like Google a Google, them. but mm -hmm. like definitely not all. No, not even close, not even not close all. to all. It's but a like, very like select few. Yes. It's a lot of the ones that are in like the flagship Levi's stores right now. Be yourself. Hey boys, um, so happy I can be here. Kristen says mom is late. Kristen. <laughs> Sunny heck? Edith Chloe oh, has <laughs> just discovered us <coughs> about a week ago and she's obsessed. Much love from Pittsburgh. Hello, Much Chloe. Love from Pittsburgh. How's Pennsylvania? Pittsburgh. Where did you get the phone cover? That's from the coach. I got store. it from the coach out. It's twenty dollars. It's like rubber. It's like a bumper. I love it. And everyone who's saying they're happy there. Right, and you need a shot of NyQuil. We're happy oh, here, too. Kim, I need a lot more than a shot of NyQuil. Um, how high will you go to buy an item at the consignment shop? It really depends. I just bought a pair of boots for 120 bucks. Yeah, I paid so. $40 for a pair of boots. Not It was a TJ Maxx, but, like, you know, same thing. And um, Simon's store, yeah. My biggest one was those. I paid 120 bucks yeah. for some St. Laurent. I paid, boots. I think, like 20 something for each of these Lululemon bags. There's two. Um, and I got them only because I know how fast Lululemon bags sell and they sell close to retail. Like, I think this one only retails for like 58 and I sold it for 64. So if I like know I can make my money back and then some, or I know that it's like going to be a quick flip. Then usually I'll pay up a little bit for it. Kyle said, "Don't use Chico's or White House Black Market pictures on eBay." No. Oh, taken. I heard that that they were. Um, it's like Chico's, like Banana Republic, and there was one more, and they're like coming after all these people. Hmm. Alone, like will never hurt any of my kids. Oh, Cindy. And do you keep track there. of how much you make on each item individually, or do you keep track of overall? We do item by item. Mm -hmm. So we have yeah. month long spreadsheets. So it'll say like and date, now title, item. Diva D, you did not miss it. We're live right now. You're okay. And we've only done one day, but till Saturday. So okay, so on the two 16th, sales. I had seven, and one was a bundle. One. Okay, you go, I'll count. Okay, so my first one was this Anthropology Pilcro oh. and Letterpress <laughs> Mustard Crop Length Denim Jacket. It sold for $35. Cute. 
And so that gave me 28. I have heard this too. Um, then I saw these 1x1 teaspoon. I don't know why they call it 1x1 teaspoon. Is there a pair of jeans that are just one teaspoon? I think that's the newer, the newer like line. I don't get I don't know anything about that brand. These sold for 40 bucks. I fixed mm -hmm. them. You're welcome. Yeah, one of the belt loops was I sold the belt loop on. And so I got 32. Just... This next one went to a viewer. And her name... Where do I... Oh. You gotta click on her Her username. name is Will and Renee. It's Renee. Oh, it's Renee. Renee posted a picture of this on Instagram. <gasps> she looks so Was she so the one in those cute little jeans? Oh, Renee. She posted a picture. Good. She was wearing this We The Free 7 embellished top with these Top Shop Moto Dre fringe Those were cute. Jeans. Little, like fringy jeans. And then she also bought, I have two of these. I have another one in the same size and style. North Face white soft fleece jacket. They're really cute. And for all of that, I sent her 75 bucks. And so I got 60. Good for Renee. She pulled that outfit off. Then I sold this. Oh yeah, also, how many did you guys get on the 16th? I forgot to ask. I'm seeing I'm seeing zeros, threes, sevens. Seven. There's a lot and I uh, okay, Big Mac, I thought you said you had almost 1100 sales. So I see 1099. Do you include real real sales in your spreadsheets? Yes, I do. Yes. But I do them at the end of the month once they've um like on the 15th like whenever out. they whenever you get This for free people, it's called like the Stormy dress. That was cute. It was like a maxi dress. It was new with tag, and I sold it for 50 bucks and got 40. I've had that forever, so I'm so happy to see it go. This mm -hmm. Millie open side white oh. mini dress. I actually have another one, and they're both new with tag. If you want one. <laughs> I don't Easter know, dress. I don't, the, I don't know the size of the other one, though. That's all for DM. 40 and gave me 32. These were an amazing bins find. They were Tory oh Birch God. Espadrilles color block. They were new in box with dust bag. I sold them for a hundred dollars. That was when I found the old Gringo boots. I found one hundred twenty dollars in the pocket. I found a Gucci purse. We found two new in box pairs of Tory Burch shoes. Where's your hair on the side of your head like that? I'm sick. It looks like, sick. It looks like if you anybody have, like, can a teach mic. me, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna send <laughs> negative energy to you. <laughs> um. Then I saw this Athleta ruched black sports bra. That's cute. For fifteen. And got 12, but I mean, it cost me nothing. It was at the bins. Because of the sports bar. Moment. And I think that was it on the 16th. Yeah. That was the last one. I had one on the 16th. Were there any questions that we missed? While I was... uh, where's Mike? Mike is chewing the bone. Mike, I can hear room. him chewing a bone. We were gone all day and I felt bad, so yes. I gave him a bone. So he's living with his And does Posh send you a 1099? They do not. No, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, QuickBooks, Intuit, Self Employed is a very, very handy service. Posh's Pets said, hit the thumbs up. Good idea, Pasha. Wow. Pets. A woman with so many smart things. <laughs> okay, I had one on the sixth, and this is my testament to relist every now and again. Not all the time. Every now and again. Just talking. Um, okay, so these were the Madewell, what were they called? The Clementine sandal, I'm almost positive. Um, I listed these. The pictures looked terrible. They looked awful. It was before I got the shoe shapers. Which are these little plastic things you put in the shoes and make them look so good. So I had them originally, they got down to like nine, like nine or ten bucks. They were super cheap. Um, and then I sold them for 30. Was that and I made one? 24. Yeah, that was my only one on the 16th. I, I just got like, an offer on a bundle. Let's I am see. completely spacing out. What's you put in the bundle? What? I'm not taking that. <laughs> Okay, Good. So, <laughs> I'm just going to keep with the what's also That's a pretty low offer. On the 17th, I only had one. Mm. I had one, two. How many did you guys have on the 17th? I should have been better about this. I had two. I both bags. Okay. Mine was just this Coach Poppy Silver Pink Card Keychain. This is in the bins. It literally probably cost me a half of a penny. Too cheap. And uh, it sold for 25 bucks and got 20. Whatever. Okay, first was my other consignment store, Purchase. Five, two. See, Riley. One of Mercari. Some days you did better Hush than that. I wish I had more Mercari sales. Um, it was this Lululemon. What was the name of this one? The Lightly, the Go Lightly <laughs> Shoulder Bag. Stupid name. I'm not gonna be mean. Okay. Oh, your bag. Yes. Anything Lululemon. I'm just like we get it. You know, you do yoga. 
Um, okay, so it was this really pretty kind of forest green convertible crossbody. Um, this one had a little sign of wear on the back, and it sold for 55 which I think is higher than retail. I think this one would retail for 48 Again, and I made 44 um, Next, I took it a little off on this just because I paid too much for it. I wanted it out of my house. It was this Banana Republic um, blue leather waist bag. I'm not 100% sure if the bag was Banana Republic, but the belt was. The belt said Banana Republic. Um, I listed it for like $20 and got an $11 offer. So like, I think this was like 99 cents. It was cheap, whatever it was. I said, sure. Okay. Okay. 17. Uh, yep. We did not have many. Okay. So I only had one again on the 18th. What did you guys have? Um, I think I had three. I three. Okay, so my one was this Brahmin white leather embossed tote. It was like a decent sale, so I guess if it was one, that's not like too bad. Side note. So for 90 bucks, we found that in a thrift store. He passed it. I said, ooh, a Brahmin, and the inner tag said Brahmin, and I said, look, Jack, a Brahmin, and he said, I passed it, so I was nice and gave it to him. You're welcome. And someone who else who was nice, a viewer sent me a dust bag <gasps> for it. Queen, if you ever have any dust bags, please please let me know. I will pay you for shipping for them. You um, dust and bags. it's all for ninety bucks. I got seventy two. Brahmin sells really well. So Brahmin if you find Brahmin, do not skip it. It's not an old lady brand. And it is really expensive. It's I don't know why it's on the Lux party. It's definitely not that level, but like it's Big Fest Zero on my birthday. Oh fabulous. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy late Happy birthday. Happy late birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Brahms. Brahms. I love that Manny. Oh, my God. Manny's okay. Like, so, for any of you who don't know, my grandma. Dang, Kyle. What, is it, weren't, weren't you the one that got 10, like, the, the day 18th? before, too? Where did you go? Right in the, Where? You know? uh, my grandma is crazy. Love her to death, but she's a nut. Um, <laughs> and she calls them Brahms. She hates them. Don't know why. Um, and she goes, I don't like them Brahms. Yeah, then she Meaning the Brahm. Brahm. Yeah, she's had, like, multiple. So, okay, Marilyn. Whatever. Okay, first on the 18th was this Free People, We the Free, Split Back Turtleneck. This was, like, I think $4 at a Plato's Closet. Um, and it was just this really cute kind of, like, split back another turtleneck. another one that everyone's everyone. had. I've had, like, two of those. There are multiple pieces a of A lot of those, like, that are, darker they, gray ones. The Free People Beach cow neck thing. That was, like, bralettes with the straps on the sides and, like, this. They've been everywhere. Uh, sold for thirty six. This was a full price sale. Mind you, sold for twenty eight eighty. I made twenty eight eighty, and I was very happy about that. Okay, this was a Ben's fine. Another full price sale. Pumped. Uh, the J Crew. Which one's this? Blazer Regent Blazer Black Wolf Flannel. Um, this one was a Ben's fine. When I found all that bougie stuff in the bins, it's this really cute little simple black blazer. Full price of sixty eight dollars. I made fifty four forty. Next, these I like your name. It was EE -E Cupcakes. That's funny. Um, and she bought these Quirkies brown cognac leather wedges. They had a little bit of wear from them, um, but they were really cute. And I will never not pick up Quirkies, especially when my friend Haley, Haley's Hanger pulls them out of her trunk and says, here, do you want these? And I said, yes. Uh, she offered me $20, and I said, sure. I made 16 So, P.S., I love your light. Oh, thank you, Katie. This is actually from Cynthia, who's in the chat. I also this is like some bougie oh, brand that I did not know. What is it called again? Cynthia knew it. Cynthia knew it. Cynthia knows a lot of brands. Um, Neil Barrett. Barrett. Neil Barrett. Barrett. Let's see. Okay. Beautiful St. John. Kyle sends 10 plus mo sells 10 plus most days because he has, oh, 800 active eBay listings. Oh, and some are small profit. Okay, I did that. That makes I sense. Wish. Still, though, I that's, like, had that's nice to make that The money. energy to have 800. I also spend offers all day long. Same. It's good for you, Kyle. <laughs> Work your business. Yeah, you get the thumbs up. Thank you, Posh. Posh with pets. She's not Posh with pets. Okay. 19th one. Oh, don't lazy. Oh, Debbie, you're fine. It's okay to be late to our lives. They're yeah. always, like, super long. You don't miss <laughs> it's me sitting here... Being sick. Yeah. So I had, I think it was three on the 18th. How many did you guys have? On the 18th? Yeah. Is oh, that what we're on? That's just what I did. I just did 18th. 19th. 19th. Oh, I'm too distracted. In one. I had three. 
How many did you guys have on the 19th? Riley is right there with me, girl. I believe in you. Eight. Kyle with his like. Kyle um, says, I had, I had 1099. <laughs> Oops. Hi. Okay. Okay, so my first one. Free pocket pads for my I had two of these, and this was the second, so I finally am out of them. It's a wild fox like ruffle sweater. Um, and they were new a tag, and this one sold for thirty and gave me twenty four. Those are cute. This Dansko leather black clogs. Dansko's Cynthia. I love how people still remember that. That was from. Old video. I feel like we're known for saying Lulu Lemon. And That's anybody wants some dance goes, but like Lulu Lemon, we do every time. And dance goes, you did like once, but every I did like, once dance in the bins when I was imitating the woman who said, Does anybody want some dance goes? Verbatim, that is what she sounded like. And everybody's like, <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I love that. And then last was this Anthropology Kelsey Dagger Toe Strap Sandals. Lately, I've been getting a bunch of Anthro sandals and shoes. So if you're interested, you can go look in Which that ones did, closet. Which uh, Asha Dancer buy? Yeah, Asia Dancer bought a pair, which I don't think she's... She's right there. Oh, she's right there. Oh, she just came in. Hey, sis. Yeah, not these ones. She bought a different pair that I think are going to be in this video. Diane Vaughn, Surf and Turf. Um, these Vaughan ones sold for 50 bucks and gave me 40. These are cute. Okay, my one and only on the 19th was this free people. Hello, Thrifty Stew. Sorry, that's just what I know you by. I always call people by their usernames. Hey, Danica. <laughs> okay, uh, was this free people, no limits, striped, split back blouse? Okay, so here's the front. It's just a blue, kind of like gauzy, button-down blouse. And then on the back, it had this really cool, ooh, excuse me, like button-down things where it could be like really open or really not. Um, and I only sold it for 20 bucks. This was like four dollars at a place closet. It was a good in my life. Um, and I had no sales that day, so I was more than happy to take her 20 dollar offer. And I made 16. Okay, Jaja, I'm glad you're putting your high end stuff on trades. That's a good, good for idea. you. Do that because then um, you get a blessed little email. Oh, yeah, down on surf and turf. Down on surf and turf. Um, how much with the dance goes? They sold for. 40 but now i only get dances at the bins i don't really like to yeah get i've noticed that goodwill is starting to catch on and a goodwill that we go to in the case you know like like magical case where everything's priced up the dance calls are like 39 also, to 50 dollars how when goodwill catches on to stuff and they mark them up the value starts to go down it, because it's because not like, like dance calls aren't as hot ticket item as they were they're still really they're good. still a really consistent seller not but like as much you're not uh, gonna, you used to get like 50 bucks now it's like 40, 35. I was going to say, I'll sell them for 40, make 30, something, whatever it is. One, I'm sorry. Marlana, Two, hey, I'm we've been watching your videos in West Virginia. I love you guys. Three, oh, thank you. Four. Do you use gloves? No. No. We do not use gloves in the bins. I like to feel if things feel expensive. I can feel silk. I can feel if furs are real. I can feel like exactly. cashmere. And like, okay. And also, like, thing. It's, it's just, just clothes. people's clothes. You know, if it's a little sweaty, nasty, any of y'all got kids, you touch worse stuff. I was going to say, obviously. Any of y'all been into a public bathroom, you touch worse stuff. Obviously, Use there a can be. hand sanitizer. There can be, the like, car. bad situations sometimes, but, like, a majority it's, of it is just clothes. It's just clothes. A lot of people are, like, my you know? mother, and they, like, clean it before donating. Yeah, so, like, exactly. Or you're, like, the people that we see in the bins that have, like, hazmat suits on. They got, like, masks. They got gloves. I remember one time when I used to go to Des Moines, there was a guy who used to wear, I'm not kidding, he'd put a hairnet on, like a hairnet that you use when you like cook food, a mask on, like a respirator mask, like one of the big ones, gloves, like dishwashing gloves with blue gloves over them, and then he'd have shoe booties on, like the boots you wear when you go like tour somebody's house when you want to buy it. And this man would leave with two things Everyone in his cart. No gloves. Dude, you'll be fine. Like you have a hopefully, hopefully immune system. Like the clothes aren't gonna, you know, give you the coronavirus. Yeah. Right there. Coronavirus. Okay, so on the twentieth, right? Is that we're on? I had seven. Four. How many did you have on the twentieth, y'all? Just for their germs on me. Hmm. Oh my god, I love that those people cover up to not spread their germs on me. <laughs> oh. Skip my pants. Okay, you know. Also, simply Dana, you're amazing. I love that she always is like everyone. Thumbs up, my queen. You know, if you find a little little gonk in something, here's 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 here
hand sanitizer. It's amazing. Okay. So, my first one Do was a very, one? this is probably my lowest one for the week. You can show them Mercari ones if you had. If had. Just, I don't remember if I I think I had one, one Mercari. Oh. I have one. I sold an express dress. It was this cute blue velvet. It was at the bin, so I got it for seventeen dollars, and I got that was cute. Thirteen sixty. I sold this fossil suede leather <laughs> color block, <laughs> new with tag wallet, that and was cute. that I got at the fossil outlet actually for ten dollars. It was on super deep clearance, and I only sold it for twenty five and got twenty, so that was probably not the best flip. Mm -hmm. This, oh, I love these. They sold so quick. Madewell velvet ankle strap. Um, like these were cute. Chunky sandals. They sold for 50 bucks and gave me 40. I think I might have paid 10, maybe even five. So they were cheap, whatever they were. Um, this was in the bins. I'm so glad to get rid of this. I took a low offer because it's mm. huge and I didn't want to store it. It's a Kate Spade. I called it Kate Spade wipeable diaper bag because it was very like. Wipeable. It's it was a like very, a coated like, kind of canvas. You could get a little baby bar like on it. No um, it was just so big and so like stiff and chunky. I didn't want it, and so I took forty bucks yeah. and I got thirty two. But it was nice because we put all of our other purses in it, <laughs> so it was like a storage. Yeah. Time. And then I sold this Patricia Neck Nash Patricia Neck Turn Lock Tote Studded Tote. She, um, she had quite a bit of wear. She even well. had holes in the lining. So someone offered 18 and I said, please, like, look at it. She was a bit rough. She was a bit But it was in the rough. bins and I didn't want to skip it. So yeah, I got 1440. And this is the last one. The Sundance blue embroidered floral top. This was really cute. I that am was very really pretty. I think Sundance was on a no low a long time ago. I still don't really get it anymore. Pick but up the this, boho pieces. This was really cute and it did sell for 36 mm -hmm. and that gave me 26.68. Okay, first on the 20th was this torrid pink embroidered mesh gauze skater dress. Um, This was super cute. I love when I find cute torrid because it always sells so fast. Um, Not for a whole lot, though, so I usually pick it up in the bins. I too much to pay it for it. Sold it for $20. I made 16 Next on their torrid piece was this torrid acid wash or, like, stone wash uh, green lace-up short sleeve. Sold for 20 again. Uh, I made 16. Next was this Brandy Melville gray knit lace sweater. Sold for 20 with a shipping discount. I made 13.88. Brandy, never pay up for Brandy. I kind of don't cheap. get Brandy anymore. It's cheap in the store. So, like, there's no point in paying more than, you know, Ben's price for it. Uh, next, this was the Ben's find, and it was just, you know, quick little easy money. Uh, they were the Sam Edelman Petty Black Suede Booties. And it was just a really simple... Like black suede booty with the side zipper on the ankle, um, you know, easy. I didn't pay much for them, didn't earn much for them. I made nineteen twenty. Yeah. Oh, and an asterisk on Sundance. Still get the shoes and the bags. That's the expensive. The stuff. bags are so expensive. That's the good one. Um. Okay. So on the twenty first, I had five. Is this I the had, last day of it? Yeah. Yeah. Last one, day of what's what? One, two. Three, four, three. So the first. Kyle. Oh, okay. So the first ones that I sold on the twenty first were to Asia Dancer, who is in the chat. I see you right there. Hey, sis. Twelve. I just saw that too. <laughs> I'm a fan um, of these really cute. Ugh. Sandals. Anthropology Corso Como. Or is it Como Corso? It is Corso oh, Como. So she is going to a gladiator style wedding. And so she wanted these. <gasps> that tell me how that goes. That'll be fun. A toga wedding. Um and they sold fun. for 45 bucks. And so I will be getting 33.88. This anthropology Mave cold shoulder ruffle top. It was a bit boring. I think I got it pretty cheap because I wouldn't have paid much for that. So for thirty two and gave me twenty three forty eight, I would not have expected to sell it for that high. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Rebecca Taylor La Vie, which is her like diffusion line, but it's still super expensive. Velvet patch distressed jeans. These are really, really cute. Those are so I pretty. found them with some really cute Citizens of Humanity jeans. These sold for $70, and I got 56 
Burberry Children's Novacek Pleated Skirt. Oh my gosh. If I had a daughter, are you kidding oh, me? If I had a kid. So cute. Love. Sold for 75 bucks and gave me 60. And my last one of the week, this is the lowest of the week. It was just these Nike dry fit, big logo leggings. And they only sold for 15 and gave me 12, but they didn't have any likes. So I took that offer. Okay. What is happening? Wait, what's going on? Rosie, I think your connection just updated. So we're getting all your messages from the whole chat. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. I was gonna say because they don't. Yeah, no, I. They think... don't look like spam. No, messages. they're not. They're not spammy. Just... I think her connection just like I... <laughs> dead me. Okay, okay. I'm so, so first on the twenty first, this was a. Co Oops. Oh, okay. Oh. I see. Bye. Have fun. Why do we always get so much spam? Why do we Someone always get the like that. street trash <laughs> of the internet? Go away. Anyway, okay. This don't be a bum. Smash the thumb. Thank you. I'm gonna turn that into a T-shirt. Who? Simply Dana. Do can I turn that into a t-shirt. I got rid of Rosie, everyone. She's gone. <laughs> we don't need to learn, worry about Rosie, Raz. We That's a good this. trick, though. If you were going to be a spam bot, like, just post comments that look real. That's kind of... Wow. Rosie knows how to get her crowd, I guess. Instead of the, like, just weird ones that nobody <laughs> honestly cares about. Okay, anyway. Um, I bought this at a Plato's closet you've, for... You've made it if you get hate. I guess. <laughs> Dang. Because, like, I feel like we, we get, get it every bully. time. <laughs> On the live chat. <coughs> Anyway, okay. So whereas Becky Parks on here and like everyone's just nice and sweet and like, oh my because gosh. Becky is <laughs> and then we're like people like with these too. like really creepy weird ones. Okay, so this I bought for Plato's Closet at ten. The Plato's Closet where we live does not know how to price anything. Oh my gosh, our Plato's so I took cool. advantage of that. Took in some of my old crap, got 70, 80 bucks, bought this, still made sixty bucks. Um it was this fossil Rachel Satchel. And like our cream and I think it's black stripe with the brown handle. Um, I listed it kind of high for a hundred and I got an offer of 50 in like three minutes. So like, Oh yeah. You know, I'm willing. like, yes, said, it's a like, half off offer. And like, if she had sent this to me like a week from when I listed it, wouldn't have accepted it. But the fact that she like saw it, it, offered it and sold it in three minutes from when I listed it. It's hard to pass that up. Like, that is easy money. That's like you... That is easy you money. You just were, like, handed money. It's, exactly. It's I was like, just handed $30 after everything's yeah. done. It's amazing. Like we said, there's, like, the window of... T there's, like, right when you list something within, like, that first couple hours, like, your, if you your expectation... Like, you can take so much lower because it's, like, a really quick flip. it's a fast sale. Then you're a little more picky. Mm -hmm. Then when you've had it forever, once again, you're like, I will take anything for it. There's, yeah. like, the two windows of time exactly. where you will take lower offers um next was another j crew blazer this one she sent me a low ball i countered with my lowest because this is in the bins and it's kind of an older style um it was the j crew navy blue wool schoolboy they still make the schoolboy blazer so if you find it look up the style number and see when it was from or if it has like sp 13 or whatever the that two digit number is that's the year um so this one was a little bit more dated i think it was from like 2014 to 2015 um, I listed it kind of high, fifty eight, and she sent me like ten dollars. I was like, uh, no. So I sent her thirty five. She accepted. <clears throat> I made twenty eight. Next, this was from a Goodwill. It was a Zara military green patch zip up bomber jacket. It was cute and it was men's and it was like I think ninety nine cents at Goodwill. So I was like, okay, sure. Um, oh, that's a blurry picture. Do you ever do that? Well, you're going through like things that you sold and you're like, oh my god, this picture is terrible. It's so bad. Anyway, I uh, <laughs> sold it for 20 I made 16 And then, oh, that was it. Okay, so then my one, next week next week. my one on Mercari was... Okay, I'm not as good at... Oh, like, wait. The, yeah, okay, let me do my Mercari. Because it was a good one. Um, mine was like, meh. For $27, I sold this... 
blush lululemon power y which we all know that the lulu tanks don't do as well so i would say do them on mercari lulu does really well on mercari and it sold for 27 Good bucks choice. and because there's only a 10 percent fee i got 24 30. okay so mine is a bolo these are some weird looking leggings okay so the brand is tiki t-e-e-k-i and my friend found these, and I was home for Thanksgiving. I was like, look at these ugly leggings. And I was like, I'm going to make money off those ugly leggings. And I did. Um, okay, so they were called the, like, Sunsetter Princess Sunset Sienna. Sunsetter Retractable Awning. Sunsetter Retractable Awning. Um, no, they were called the Princess Sienna Leggings. They were kind of like a boho. You know, they had a cow skull and crystals and that kind of thing on them. Uh, they sold full price for $44 on Mercari. And I made, let me look at my receipt. I made $39.60 off of a $2 pair of leggings. Google it. You know, the weirder, the better in some instances. Okay. Um, has anybody noticed? Lulu, Lulu Men sells really fast. Lulu Men. You get a lot of lowball offers. You just have to wait You just got to, you know, wait out those those first yeah, few hours. Those are uh, the, oops, more thoughts or two. I don't think they weren't that bad. You know, I don't like how the skull was like right under her butt, but like, you know. Each one. Yeah, Lulu has slowed down quite mm -hmm. a bit. I'd say still like the sweaters and jackets with and stuff too good. The tank Shorts tops. too good, leggings too good. Yes. Yeah. Do you use cross posting sites? We've been using Bendu. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Bendu. Bendu. But, like, but I don't know. It hasn't really done changes, much for me. I'm kind of mm, I'm kind of getting off the Bendu um, bandwagon. I might try list perfectly. Same. We'll because well, like I always thought it was so expensive. And then when I looked into it, the one that I would use, like to just cross post, is it's only the like, basic one. Yeah, it's only like thirty dollars a month. So here's yeah. what I'm gonna do: I'm gonna DM Renee, Fashion Thrifter 2018 on Instagram, hold his mom, my queen, and like list perfectly is like goddess. And, and they say, support tradesies. So. Yeah, and I'm now saying, that I'm like Renee, in help. What do I do? Um, and she's gonna help me because she's nice. <laughs> Let me know how list perfectly does. Wasn't too impressed with Vendu. Yeah, okay, I liked older Vendu. I love older Vendu. Yeah. It was annoying because you could only do like 49 or 50 listings from Poshmark and it really didn't cross over to Macari. But just getting like the pictures and the title on the description over was easier for me and like better Vendu for me than I could like, just kind of go fix Vendu details. like a lot of steps. Oh my God. It's like you, you have to import so it from Posh. You have to put it onto Macari, but like it doesn't have all the right info. So you need to edit the info and then add in more info. Then you post it. It takes like a sec to post. It's just like, it's a lot. There's too many steps. Or like, list, list perfectly, you just go onto your Posh page. You hit cross post or whatever. And then it just puts it into Mercari. And there's like a little bit more info you need to put in. But like, you're right on Mercari. It's, and it does pre-fill in a decent chunk of stuff. So like, oh, that's an amazing. Which I love in our last live. We were like, then do. Don't use this perfectly. Now we're like, who was it? Mm. Was it Jaja? Who's yelling at us for using Bendu? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was able to cross post some seven hundred items to eBay. Oh See, my gosh, that's what I would want to do. Yeah. I want to get my whole closet listed on Macari because I feel like I make decent sales on Macari. And, it's just because I don't have anything listed. And 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 and, Vendu doesn't really let you relist no, on Poshmark. You can't list perfectly. You can be on Poshmark and you can, you can hit cross post to Poshmark and you can relist it like in the blink of an eye. Closet. So like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like relisting doesn't do a ton for me. Some people have, every now, some people have like crazy luck with no, relisting. Every now and again, you get a good one. You get a good, yeah. You, get a good hit. you have Vendu. Yeah, I was using Vendu for a while and I mean like. It was a hot minute. It was it good works. in the beginning. It and does then, work. Like it's not. Yeah. If there was no other option, then do is fine. I would use Vendu. But, like, let's perfect this. But, like, I'm kind of getting on the list. Perfectly. Okay, so here are the type of things that I've sold on Tradesy since I saw some of you saying you want to try oh, it. Oh, yeah. Let me show you my. I sold Tradesy. this Gucci timepiece watch. And look at, okay, Tradesy is so weird. They white out, they edit your pictures for you and they take out the background. So, it's really, amazing. you could put stuff on there and then you could take the pictures off and put them onto mm -hmm. your, onto your posh. posh. Um, That's all for $265. Their fee is also, I don't know, their fee is 19.8%. It's kind of random, but it's, it's basically not quite much. 20. <laughs> this Tory Burch, like, bobble sweater sold for, there's also, like, no low balls, by the way. Oh, my God. Sold for 204.30. The nice thing about Tradesy is 
There's no offers. There's no anything. It's I just, mean, like, I like being able to get offers. No, so. that, I think, okay, I think on some stuff is nice, but it also is nice because I don't get, like, $20 offers and, like, $300 listings, which is a blessing. And then these fry boots sold for $306.30. Oh, Damn. oh, oh my gosh. Those, like, really heavy. They're called the Debra. I knew those of would sell. Of course it was. Oh, my God. So, obviously, it looks like put your expensive stuff on Tradesy. I think Tradesy or, is supposed to be, like, bougie like a real real that you list your own things on kind of like Remember, it's very okay, it's interesting watch my sister's birthday. oh lynn i think my mom has the same <laughs> gucci watch yeah she loves it okay so my one tradesy sale um this was a good sale by the way it was a pair of jeffrey campbell what were they called uh solitaire the solitaire heels <laughs> They were blue snakeskin, um, and they sold for how do I get back to what they sold for eighty nine dollars and seventy cents, which is astronomically more than I could ever sell them for on Poshmark. Um, and they had wear, they had toe wear, and they. The I skin, had them in tan, and I had them on Posh for yeah. forty five, and they had no attention. On the back of the heel was still broken, so or not broken. It was like you know doing the thing where it kind of peels apart. Um. And she left me a nice little note that was like, I love them so much. Thank you. And I said, you're welcome. Um, so, you know, I'm not mad at it. Mad so at the Tradesy it. fees, I think it's like 20%. But then for Tradesy, you do have to transfer it to PayPal, which takes like 3% more. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's not that bad. So it's like almost a little bit more than Posh. But like... If it's like making high dollar sales, like, like if I'm making I'll a $300 take, sale, I'm willing to take 3% I will take it. fee. It's slow to get paid mm -hmm. on Tradesy. Well, it's a little, yeah. It, yeah, I think, isn't it like at the end of the month? Like they pay you at the end of the month for everything. It's kind of oh, like okay. Little. That is what I was wondering on Big Mac says on Tradesy, if you if the buyer returns the item, Tradesy takes it and you keep the money. That's what I thought. I wasn't sure on they that. Had, but if you it. send out your Tradesy items, the return address is Tradesy's like headquarters. Mm. That's interesting. Do they do that only on high dollar items or do they do it on everything? I don't I don't know like that much about Tradesy. I, I just know I've made three sales on it. Tradesy, you don't have to send it to them. No, uh Pops and Pads. So when you list it on Tradesy, you just ship so like what I do is you can like ship from your own, like when you go into your trade like listing settings, or it's like prepaid label or like send it to us. I usually just do prepaid label. And then when you get the email that says like you made a trade sale, they send you the label. They just, send you a label. You yeah. just put it on, you put it in any box. We just print it out in the Dymo, throw that thing in a box with some packaging because we're decent people. Yeah. These are expensive items. Luck three purchases. And it goes and right just, to the whoop, person, but the return address is Tradesy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess then if the person returns it, it goes yeah, to Tradesy. Just sold for 175 Heck yeah, big man. Make or that coin. returns and sells it themselves. That's so interesting. Like, what if the item was, like, really flawed? I don't know. Mm. Like, what if you lied on it? Like, what if you're like, it's in perfect condition? I feel like if that was the case, they probably they don't would, let you keep your money. They would probably kind of come after you. Like, they give you the item about. back and they wouldn't an interesting business model. It is, but like then I guess if they thought it was worth more, they could price it up more. <laughs> yeah. Or like, is that what they do? And then they sell it and then they keep all the money? I guess. Looking it up right now if I can sell Canada. Oh, that's right. Thrifty Stewart has to deal with like who takes Canada. I'm sorry. She has like, oh, okay. So if they do, I'm put sorry. that St. John dress that you have on there. She has like the most gorgeous St. John dress oh. I've ever seen. There'll be a bomb. You tickle the thumb. <laughs> I love that. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you use your own labels like Pirate Ship for Mercari? Yeah. So on Mercari, I make the label through Mercari, but I know that Becky Park makes hers. That's kind of what I want. It'd probably do. be cheaper, and then you can offer free shit. I freaking hate on Mercari how it says, like, when you go to list and thing, it's like, what are your package dimensions? How much is it? Wait, I oh, my freaking, gosh. I, know I don't freaking know. So don't ask time. me that. Oh, my God. Stop it. It's so annoying. So I really just want to, like, pirate ship it to everybody because it'd be so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use pirate ship a lot. I use pirate ship when I sell direct. I'll start doing that. I'll start doing free shipping on Mercari with pirate ship. And then you can just mark the price up just a little bit. 
Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I'll throw an extra four dollars on that for shipping. I happened to see my pictures of the dress on Trades after I sold it, and I thought someone was using my pictures. I called them, and they told me the dress was returned to them. They were saying, "Oh, okay, cool." Yeah. That is so interesting. Yeah, I don't like that extra thing either. <laughs> it's so expensive for like nothing. Like, you know, you send a less than a pound package and it's like seven, eight dollars to ship. But you can drop it off at Walgreens. No, I don't want to go to Walgreens. I just want to go to the post office. Yeah, and I guess, see, then if you also, you marked your items up a little bit and you put free shipping on Mercari. You everyone's so, like, enticed by seeing free shipping, especially on Mercari. I feel like Mercari, mm -hmm. like, pushes you to do free shipping, so it must be for a reason. Oh, like, they, they do must, all the time. There must be so many more sales if you get... Like, when you, you list shipping. something, it automatically says, like, buyer will pay for yeah. shipping, and you have to, like, go in seller and change pay. it, or seller or whatever it is, yeah. Certain mm -hmm. items, except... No, no, on Tracy, you can list anything. You can list like, anything. It definitely, like, leans more towards luxury. It's a higher, like, But also, I've seen people out. get... Really good luck with like Zara shoes. I know that like it's so random. There's that weird Zara anything that like if Kate Middleton wears it or like if Meghan Markle wears it or like if some really 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 famous person wears it, that's the kind of stuff that does really good. But like I don't have but the, I'm I don't have the yeah I don't have the time to like I've seen follow Zara Meghan shoes. Markle on Instagram and like find all her clothes and then go buy them and listen on trades like that's not. Ugh. I'm trying to use free shipping on eBay. Yeah, for everything I've been putting on eBay, I've just been doing free shipping because, like, I don't want to deal with. Sometimes it's more work to just like put the buyer to pay shipping. I know. Mercari is not my friend. Same. Asia, thank you for joining us. I'm gonna go guys. I'm hanging I'm out, out at work. At work. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Thank bye. You for joining have fun us, at Asia. work. Have fun closing at work. Have going home. Oh, pirate ship has some kind of. International. I did pirate ship to Canada once. I did pirate ship to Hawaii, which is not international. <laughs> Pasha Pet says, everyone give us a thumbs up. I guess you better listen to her. She'll come after you if you don't. <laughs> she'll throw a thread up. <laughs> she'll, box throw, you. she'll throw a mystery box at you. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I swear I'm speaking Makari. Good for you, Jaja. Well, $70 Mercari sale. Hello, Jack. Thanks to you, I decided to send some items to the Real Real and just made my first sale. 144 bucks for Ferragamo heels. Wow. Well, I also found a Dior blazer and they're listing at 225 They mark Dior up. Dior If you find Dior, send it to them. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yes. Yes. Um, Jenny runs this. How do you handle your taxes? We use uh, Intuit Tax. Or QuickBooks self employed. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. It's like $15 a month, but it makes everything so easy. Throughout it's the so year, easy to use. Throughout the year, we use mm -hmm. QuickBooks self employed. And then at the end of the year, we use TurboTax. We use Turbo Tax because they can the, import like, directly. The big one. Yeah. Just found you guys recently and I've been watching all your old and new videos. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. Oh, I hope our like what? I hope like my, oh my old God. videos aren't too cringy. The I actually I awful. had the idea like two or three months ago to do a video of I react to an old <coughs> an old call. <gasps> and then Nicole State did it. And like we had no communication with each other, but she did it like like a couple weeks ago. And now I feel like I can't do it because like she did it. What? Who am I supposed to use? Okay, I don't see who I'm supposed to delete. I don't delete, see who we're supposed to but delete. But, like, if they come up again. Using heroin for real? What? Who was using heroin? Oh, God, drugs are bad. Cookbooks on your phone. Um, Minky, we use... I just use the website. You can you can do QuickBooks on your phone and it can track mm -hmm. your miles for you. That I know um, Aaron does. Oscillady, you know, she'll rant and rave about how she gets all of her miles done because she turns on her QuickBooks. Yeah, I actually just enter my miles in myself because, like, sometimes it's like it's it doesn't get the like route exactly, know. and it thinks you stop. <coughs> like, if we need to use the GPS. Oh, Ugh. I see. So apparently, there's a new selling app called Heroin, and people are thinking it's someone saying something bad. <coughs> Why would you name it that? <laughs> Why would you? <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. That's a terrible idea. 
Can you delete the person? Heroin. Give you a thumbs down? Oh, I can't even see the thumbs. That's down right how now. you spell it. Not like the drug, like heroin, like a female hero. Okay, don't say it anymore. We might get demonetized. <laughs> Have you ever ordered anything from B&G Trading? I have not heard the best thing. I about refuse that. to. After Savannah posted that like deluxe, amazing whatever box, and, and she got a box of garbage. And Alex. Yeah, and Alex Steel Queen got another box of garbage. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste my money. Uh uh. Yeah, no. Nope. Sorry. I would rather bet my chips on the thread up DIY designer box. I, if those come oh back. Oh my gosh. Those are spooky though, because they're very 50, 50. Like some people, if you like watch even just Denali, some of her boxes, she's like, she's I got like, a Michael Kors. Burberry, Gucci. And, and then, then she's, she's like, like, I got a I Michael Kors Kohan, watch and like a coach pair trash. of old sunglasses. I know. I know. But I'm like, ugh. It's a business expense. I could probably Let's make check $90 if they have them right off. now. Oh my God, watch. If you guys ever notice that they have those please DIY designers, DM please tell me. me. I got a B&G turning box. It wasn't horrible. See, but I I don't know. It's just they're, bad. they're a little pricey, and I always feel like Ryan and I find enough like good stuff. Like, we that are we able... we don't need to... We find yeah. so much like Nordstrom brand, Nordstrom Rack brand stuff. But, like, we go sourcing to the point where we see a lot of the like Nordstrom brands and the like higher end stuff. So like, I don't feel the need to like yeah. spend $250 in a box to get all that kind of stuff when I can go out and get oh, it. So for... the pets that hers are bad. What did mm -hmm. you get in yours? Ooh. But then like Savannah posted one street savvy posted one like two days ago Connor where she got, got like for a partnership with them. Ooh, we didn't. No one offers anything. Nobody. Us. Do you know who? Uh, who did with us? No issue. And I took them. No. Ten freaking no. weeks to ship the polymers. Um, uh, mostly coat. Uh, I've also heard mm -hmm. it depends on where it gets shipped from. It's oh, like the what? If they come from Pennsylvania, they're the good. Pennsylvania is the good ones. Yeah. I have last chance. Oh, we got offered a partnership with Skillshare, and then they just never and then responded. They, just never responded. <laughs> they ghosted us, but like, okay. Mm -hmm. Found flax today at Goodwill. I found flax once and it didn't. Do I don't think I've ever found flax before. But I've like, seen it, but I've I heard people do really good on eBay. Stuff. Yeah. I don't need one. I have last chance. See, and like all of our like consignment shops have so much like good, like we get stuff, stuff mm -hmm. for like not that expensive. For really no much. Where do you find the higher end stuff? Like everywhere. A magician does not reveal his secrets. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, like everywhere, it's really yeah. a mix. Like no, our bins like... can be crazy good where we find a ton there. We find. We do go to consignment Gucci. stores. Mm -hmm. We do go to Goodwills. Like we literally go everywhere. It's really it cool. really is just kind of like yeah, luck of the draw. Yeah, luck of the draw. You know, wherever you find it. Someone did B and G trading. I got, got twenty five pieces. pieces all great stuff happens with the event. Curse of the B and G trading box. Watch, I'm gonna get a cease and desist now. <laughs> We're gonna be like, take our, take my name out your mouth. Um, I got four boxes. Four Denali. I got fake long shot. Okay, um, that I would contact them. Bin about. pickers. GMSL. They got a fake Queens. YSL. Yeah, uh, and it had mold in it. They got, like, straight garbage. Like, awful. And they emailed Thread Up and was like, you sending me mold and fake crap. So they got some of their money back, if not all of it. So I would look into that if you can, like, really prove it's fake. And just says she watched our video on the bin tips and it was helpful. And she's going mm. to start going to the bins and she can't believe how good they are. They are. The bins are I love the bins. Things. Our There's bins were really bad last time we went. Ugh. It sucks because somebody told us that like they're running out of clothes, like raw donations to like send to the Goodwill and then send to the bins. But like our thought in the theory is that like once people kind of do like spring, spring cleaning, cleaning and that kind of thing. Oh, oh thank you, Minky. Minky, are we saying your name? Oh, right? she's the one that gave us the host pick. <gasps> we you love you. Thank that. you Free so much. Oh that from me. I hope that fits you amazing. That was such a cute. She one gave me the host pick on that um, Ultra Zara Target dress. <gasps> oh, that was a cute one. Yeah, it got it got like four likes from that host pick. So like, thanks. Love you. I'm busy but bad. I know because there's no clothes, Kim. It's just hard guys. Wait till everybody does their spring cleaning. Be patient. Yeah. Yeah, Kim. 
Did you sell all your St. John? I wish. We have not sent, sold any of the St. John, but also, like, I only have, like, We just took pictures to of 10. it, like, two days ago. I only have, yesterday. like, eight to ten listed, so. No. The Kansas City bins are always up and down. Yeah, they are. Oh, well, dead. Good to hear. You want another no, one? No, Minka is her name. Minka. That's a cute name. Oh, my. I almost called it Mishka. Mishka Lampert. She makes expensive knits. You both are good pickers. Thank you. I try. It's sponsored by Caffeine. Um, when are you guys visiting South Florida next? I next. No. I when have we ever been to South Florida? I I've been to not. Disney. That's not South not. Florida. That's like middle. I've been to. Is that where that is? Like Epcot? I've been yeah, Epcot. it's in Orlando. Um, dig deep in the bins. Oh, we do. True words have never been said. We found... Keep looking and save the earth. True. That's why it's good to... That's another good thing about taking stuff to the consignment stores is literally all of that stuff would be going to, like, landfills, but you're giving it a second you chance give it to at people a consignment really store, and it. you're making money. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, somebody said, when do you graduate, Ryan, and when's the wedding? Wedding? Oh, God, I have no idea. Once we move and, like, get settled. When do I graduate? I graduate fall of 2021. After I've been student teaching, I'm very <laughs> excited about it. Someone said they literally dreamt about the St. John Hall. Me. <laughs> it was the last thing I saw. I love that. What happened in it? Was I just like, here? Oh. They're offering me a free box to do an unboxing and a giveaway. I mean, like, you I, know? I would okay. do it because, like. But if it's free, though. But here's my thing. When these but companies, hopefully you can give your true, genuine opinion. Yeah, because when these companies, I know Savannah kind of got into this. Um, when they send you things, I don't know like who it is or how exactly it goes, but like I think there's a fair amount of they're like say good things about it, or they're like purposely put really good things in the box they send you to like show people like, oh my god, look at all these amazing things I'm getting. And then like the regular ones are like not that good. So like mm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. Um, Jaja said, "Where did I say to send real real? Send real real to, or it's real real Dior. <laughs> send Dior to, to the real real. real. It, it goes really well there. Not Monsieur. Like. No, Monsieur is <gasps> Sister, Sister Joy. Joy. Oh, thank you. Thank you oh my gosh, we love you. Um, that's, so sweet. that's awesome. What are you yeah. gonna teach?" You're making me even warmer. Oh my Sister God. Joy. I will teach <laughs> art. <laughs> Once I'm not, you know, dying of cold and decongestant. Oh my God. Report. We Why don't I report, report someone doing that? I was like, can <laughs> I respond? We don't want your money. I'll type it. No, it's okay. Right. Thank you, Sister Joy. Um, What are your favorite items to thrift? What are my favorite items to thrift? Things that don't weigh a whole lot, aren't expensive, and I'll make money on. Or like specific items. NyQuil. Cam, I know. <laughs> I don't have any NyQuil. It works. I love NyQuil. <laughs> I love NyQuil, oh but I forgot gosh. to pick it up today. What's the difference between Dior Monsieur and Dior? Okay, so Dior has like a billion lines. Like Dior series. Intimates, Dior Monsieur, Dior... Mm. There's a bunch. I don't there's know. There's like Dior like sleep. Yeah, there's, there's like a pajama line. Yeah, there's even more. I just can't think of it right now. But um, Monsieur, I don't know where it was sold, but I one time did like all this research on it, and it we was sold a at a department store. I'm gonna bring. Some I don't know things. which department store, or if it was at a bunch of them. It was in department stores in like the '80s or something. It was like I don't Dior. know, if it's like Dillard's or Macy's or whatever. What, I think that's what it is. But it just it was not as expensive. It's because Givenchy did this too. They like mm -hmm. they like leased out their name. Yeah, they like so they kind of said like you can make clothes as long as we approve it and put our name on it, but it's not going to be like Christian Dior. It's going to be like an offshoot. No, it's still says, well, yeah, it says it Christian, Christian Dior, Christian but it's Dior, not like, like top tier yeah. Dior. It's like mall Dior. Oh, again, thank you, no. Sister Joy. She said love. love. So why is Monsieur so much lower? Um, because it's like I a diffusion like line, so it's not like. Got a medicine ball from Starbucks. Oh my God, Mandy. I have been meaning to do that for so long. They are amazing. I love the medicine balls. That's what I'm going to do more. I think my cheeks are going to get red with the lights. I look red <laughs> because I'm dying. I'm Grailed has Christian Dior Monster. Interesting. Good to know. Oh yeah, and there's Dior Home. Ame. What does that call it? H-O-M-M-E. Ame. 
It's home. Okay, let's see. You answer questions. I'm going to do research on okay. Christian Dior. Uh, yeah, you can still sell Christian Dior, Munster. I put that on Posh. I do not kidding. Um, Munster was their licensed goods for men from the 70s to the early 90s. Thank you, Nathan. Glad you have eyes. We didn't know that. Thank you know. so much for that. Um, Some of these people. <laughs> um, <laughs> then that LVMH bought Dior, which if you know LVMH is um, like Mark this Jacobs, huge company Fossil. that owns... <laughs> you ugly. A queen. <laughs> you ugly. We love... Of pets. I'm going to put you on a timeout. No, we're going to return. Um, and they revamped it and created Dior Home, which is now the high-end men's. That still doesn't really help. So LVMH owns like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Marc Jacobs, like Fossil. Like everything. They own like any, yeah, they own La La. I don't know if they own Prado. What condition do you think out to be so. in for the real real? Good. They label it like good to like new oh, right. or good to pristine. But like mm. it's got to be pretty good. It has to be in like almost new condition. You know, with little, little ifs and whatevers. But yeah. Into good, oh wow, I can't read tonight. Monsieur is an actual like vintage duo line. Um, uh, says diffusion lines, they do sell some diffusion lines, but I feel like we kind of want to do a video on that mm -hmm. and like diffusion lines of like brands, popular brands or high end lines of brands. Like Calvin Klein has a really high end line, Calvin Klein 205 North 39th Street, NYC. I think you. No, it's 205 West. Two, there's a West. W in there. Mm -hmm. Um, Are the pugs making an appearance? Can you hear Mike? He's, Can you hear him, like, panting? I'll grab Mike. Okay. Oh, hot, oh, my God. The medicine balls from Starbucks, if you haven't tried one, if you're, like, sick or hungover or anything, they're amazing. Here's Mike. Are you hot? Yeah. And he's going to sit right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, are you hot? Are you in the kettle all day? You see what? You see what? Mm -hmm. Like, you have, we literally just gave you, let's see. And then if you stop petting him and pull your hand away, he'll grab it because Mike is an attention seeker. <laughs> Oh, hey, Mike. And he just sneezed. Oh, my God. I swear to God, Mike sneezes more than I do right now. And I'm sick. He also pants loud. Okay, are you done? Are you going to leave? Mike, are you done making an appearance? He says goodbye. Okay, I'm last week when I was sick, I got a hibiscus tea. Oh, my God, I love hibiscus tea. It's amazing. Mike, um, what's up? <laughs> Calvin himself is no longer involved. Yeah, I know. Who is their designer again? Who? Oh, what's his name? The lead designer behind Calvin Klein 205 West 39 NYC slash Calvin Klein Collection, it's called. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. I'm he is a good. mad genius. I love it's him. cool. Bring him to the bins. Kim, I think Mike would poop at the bins. <laughs> Anytime we take him in public into like buildings, he just poops. Oh my gosh, if you bring Mike into a pet cow, there will be a bathroom on the ground at some point. Little bye. Perfect. We get all the best comments. <laughs> These people are wild. <laughs> I got nothing better to do with you. Um, okay, so who is it? Raph Simmons. Oh my, oh my, my gosh. gosh, that makes sense. You can sit in my cart. The cart would fall. You the want cart to have room the... for all of your big like quilts. Yeah, Ken, you couldn't get blankets. <laughs> He would sit. Where's Becky? Becky is doing yeah, something good tonight. Question. Someone go get Becky. Becky's busy. You know, she got a couple of kids. She got a husband. She got a choir. <laughs> Where oh, are those boots? I want to show everyone the boots that we want. So oh there are these God. boots that Calvin Klein, their high end line makes that literally Nick and Brian and I all want. I just keep reporting it's bad tonight. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Well, these people are weird. It's these like really oh, cute like metal toe, square toe boots. 
And they only retail at like seven hundred and eighty dollars. I ain't got seven hundred eighty dollars to spend on boots. Are you kidding me? I wish. Are you playing Call of Duty? No, no. I'm not playing Call of Duty. I play Animal Crossing and so Pokemon. So I'm just doing just a beautiful cabin going to touch and a little black dress. Good for you, Cynthia. Dang. But also, you're in California, Cynthia. So you find all, all you the do good is stuff. find nice things. She found what did you find? Alexander McQueen she last time you did a Bottega Veneta shoes. Yay, video games. Pasha Pets, what video games do you play? She goes, The Sims. My cheeks are getting red. I know, me too. <laughs> Mom, when you fell in the bin, Mike would jump out. Um, yeah, I can. Mike would jump out and then just leave. I play Sims 2 on the DS sometimes. That sounds like Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to play any video games. Ryan plays like Mario Kart. <laughs> None. I was kidding. Okay, Same. Pasha Pets. Jeez. Oh, Cynthia, you're so sweet. Okay. I know, aren't they? Oh amazing? my gosh, I know those boots are so nice. Oh. ASOS sells like knockoffs of them. Yeah. That are really cute. Nick bought them. I'll okay. see them for them. We went to the Black Crows concert a long time ago. I love the Black Crows. Shake Your Moneymaker is one of my favorite albums ever. <laughs> Riley says, love Mario Kart. Oh, I love Mario Kart. What's your best ever bins find? My best ever bins find. I found a Gucci purse and $120. Phew! And a pair of old Gringo boots. I have found a Chloe Paddington in. satchel, and I found like a Fendi mini bag. You have found a Fendi mini bag. Excuse me. Right? There you go. Um... Prada shoes. That's a good question. Probably the Chloe bag, except it was in like kind of rough shape, but like I still sold it, but only for a hundred bucks. Let's see, what are my highest sales? Are any of them from the bins? Montclair. Um, I don't know. I guess the Chloe. Jack didn't say bless you because he's been sneezing. All day. He, and he's also like the most obnoxious nose blower ever. Like he puts his voice into it. It's rough. Okay, this might be my best ever bins find. It is by, talking? yes, I am insulting yeah. you. It's by La Orla or La Keely. Very obscure. <laughs> I'll make that one extra irritating for the people in the back. Okay, yeah. I was raised in a household where you got to get all the gunk out of your ears before you get an ear infection. It's this corduroy yeah, velvet floral um, pair of overalls. See, it's like floral. Oh, what, oh, what are they called um, in Australia? Dungarees. They're called the Floral Cascade Dungarees. They dungarees. came out in 2017. They retailed at $1,200, and I have them listed for $360. They're, they'll be expensive. I also found a Mason Mail dress. Thousands of dollars. Which Literally. is 100% silk, and it was also made in 2017. Oh my gosh, where is that? Oh, and I just found those Aquatalias. They're oh. super cute. They were in an Instagram post. That is not what was in the world. I have listed at 250 Those are beautiful. What did I find? I think I sold my old to a viewer, which that was fun. I found a Chanel dress. Okay, Zsa Zsa. Um, Debbie found Chanel shoes in the bins. <laughs> Asia, says, said, Asia said raffle. That was so loud. And everyone's just saying OMG. Okay, what people really don't understand is I give the physical appearance of a 20-something, but I have the mind, body, soul, and spirit of like a 95-year-old man in a retirement home. Like, my knees hurt if I sit on them for or too long. Or Lakini made a hand soap. Interesting. Be fun. I sneeze too loud. I blow my nose too He bad. got it from the bins from not wearing gloves. <laughs> oh my god, that's what I should do. Be like, I got coronavirus from the bins. Hashtag Next story YouTube time. Video. <gasps> yeah. That Quick would bait. be the one to make us Corona go viral. Coronavirus from the bins? From beat up proud of men's. Over it. Officially, says Danica. Good for you, Danica. Me too. I hope that's a drag race reference. You know what I've had? It. I love. Officially. I I got a Louis Vuitton sweater at the bins. It's cashmere. I still haven't listed it. Um, Debbie, Jack's mom, found a Louis Vuitton employee oh, uniform. 
at Savers for three seventy nine and sold it for like seventy dollars. Chanel shoes in a dust bag. Okay, y'all stop. You know what, Kim? I like go leave- look at the quilts. You know, leave the good things. Kim, did you find the- like two pairs of like teaks last time too? Honestly, like move shove, out, shove know? off, shove off, shove off. Then she's gonna be like, okay, I hate you guys now. Um, I found beat up men's powder shoes. It is Elevata. Good for you, Riley. officially. Okay, she Why can't. She, she can't do trade scene. White wine. I'm drinking Temperanello, Temperanillo. It's you got Cariva virus from the bins. Yes, Cariva. <laughs> oh, Kim says just, correction. One pair. Pardon me. You know. Y'all are late to the Orla Keeley party. She was a stone. I love Orla Keeley. She's amazing. She makes really cute stuff. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't know who else makes really cute stuff. Um, What is her name again? (coughs) She makes my. It's Spanish for beer. Moto jacket. Um, Lynn says. My best find was a Stone Island sweater in the bins. New tag, $1,600. I have never heard of Stone Island before. I feel like I've heard two people mention it to me and how expensive it is. And I'm like, I wish. Oh, Stone Island. Nick Where told us from? that Stone Island is having like a moment. I didn't it's know. so expensive. It was so expensive. I thought it was like an ASOS brand. Um, Jaja, good for you. Let your husband clean the shoes. You know, put him to work. Put something on the TV and say, here, clean these for me. Thank you. That's why we have my mom. My mom cleans everything for us. And I, love her death. I bought her. Is oh, a little... Tanya Taylor. Oh, we love Tanya Taylor. What's this? I just want to, I just wanted to show them that. I don't know why. Oh, that's so cute. I guess I'm just having Jack show and tell time. Okay. So Orla Keeley, I don't know why, remind me of this. This is a really obscure, super high-end designer brand called Tanya Taylor. And and she makes with Trina she Tart, makes who's oh garbage. Oh my gosh, please like Tanya Taylor. She makes such cute stuff. This is like neoprene. It's a moto jacket. The real room is like, we're going to price this at $100. And I was like, well, I'm going to keep it. This is like a $2,000 moto It's pretty. I don't have anything nice because I'm an artist. And I get paint and or ink and or child snot all over everything. And then this I just found in my closet. And I just want to show you guys. Isn't this so cool? Okay. So I never wear button-ups. But I'm keeping this for myself. It was from a Sabres. It's just like normal Ralph Lauren. It's so But like, look at how cute this is. What? And on the back, there's a 15. I sent my hubby to the Iowa this weekend. Kim, you better get him back. He's not going to get... I bet I could get a lot of money. The corner going to get him. I could probably get a lot of money for this on eBay or probably even Posh. But, like, this is mine. If I have anything, like, slightly important to go to where I have to look half okay, like... It's so cute. Do I have anything that I've found in the bins that I keep for myself? I have a t-shirt with a... <laughs> I found. I love that. What else do I have? Um, all of my cat t-shirts come from the bins. Um, what else do I have that I'm like obsessed with? I don't think that much. That's all my button. vintage Levi's come from the bins. That's a button down. I don't know what the 15 is for. Good question. My mom said it's for her because it's her lucky number. So, you know, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. It's Debbie's lucky number. I um, spent three weeks in Memphis last summer, and there were three bins in the area, so I just, just sourced it. I would love to go to Memphis. I think it'd be so fun. My mom went to Memphis and like lived her best. I really want a road trip life. to go thrifting. That'd be fun. I think it'd be so much fun. Janet and my mom went on a business trip, and she sent me a video of her at like a line dance. Mind you, my mom is like the whitest woman ever. Like Janet is a J Crew mannequin. J Crew mannequin going nice. through. Um. She was like, I'm having a Yeehaw beer. And it was like a Miller Light in a can with a cowboy hat on top. It was funny. So we found some, some Golden, golden goose, goose sneakers. sneakers one that people already went through. Ryan treated himself to some Golden Goose sneakers. You can go show them that. Oh, let me go get my babies. I love them um, to death. Yes, yeah, that Ralph Lauren is from the normal line. But like, I totally thought it was going to be some like rare one not from the normal line. Because it's so cute. You guys have such a cute style. Oh, thank you. Have you ever considered doing more home goods? Oh, that'd be so fun. But like, I would I just, love to, but there's I so either, hard to store. And I just want to keep it all. Okay. okay, everybody, here are my new babies. Full disclosure, they were $80 on Poshmark. Oh, I tried a pair literally almost the same like this at Nordstrom, and they were $595. And this lovely woman listed them at $850. Or one fifty, and then sent out eighty dollars with free shipping. And I said, 
snatch. And I didn't want to post about it because I didn't want to happen to me what happened to the deal queen where she posted a pair that she got for like 40 bucks and somebody nipped her. Mm -mm. Not taking these from me. Sorry. I wear them all the time. Oh, they're amazing. I love them so much. And they fit my like aesthetic of things that cost a lot. And look like garbage. That look like garbage because... This is a two hundred dollar T shirt, and I got it for ten, and it looks like garbage. Ashley says I'm going to Minneapolis for work in the summer, and going to try to stay an extra day to thrift. Please do, Ashley. You give us a jingle. We have the you know, best sourcing. You like, call us. Are you kidding me? Oh we'll go to Google together. It'll be a good time. Then we'll go get yeah. a cocktail. They need to time. do. They need to do a posh party live in Minneapolis. That'd be so fun. Do you know how fun that would be? I'm waiting. I just check the most. Okay, but like. Clueless in style, you got a point though. Like now, especially anything that looks like garbage is worth money. Like the Mason Martin Margiela shoes that have like staples and duct tape on them. That's oh like my a, gosh, that's, that's like, like a twelve hundred dollars. That's like a twelve hundred dollar pair of sneakers. And if you saw those at Goodwill, you'd be like, oh my god, they found these off a homeless man after he died and took him to Goodwill. You know, so like check the beat up garbage. And Kristen just found a flannel that looks like somebody was drowned in a thing of bleach. And it's like a hundred dollar flannel. So like, <laughs> did you see bleach? it? No. It looks like it's like the collars bleach, and then it's like bleach running down it, and it looks like somebody just put their head into the bleach. Yikes! But no, that's not what happened. That's just the aesthetic. It's just the, aesthetic. It's just the vibe, you know. We just got a golden goose boutique. Interesting. Jack looks like he hates hmm. those. The golden goose. <coughs> no, I don't hate them. I think that's just like my RBF. Well, that, and he's very, like, extensive things look expensive. Like, yeah. that's his aesthetic. Whereas mine is, like, I look like trash. I was going to say, you got your ripped shirt. You got your dirty shoes. Oh, my jeans that, these guys are expensive. The, vintage, the good vintage ones. Like, are. Ryan and I's, like, luxury taste is very different. Where's the Golden Goose Boutique? That's a good I question. think it's just, like, is it a store? What is it? Golden is it, like, Goose just a Golden Goose store? Because I've only ever seen him in, like, Nordstrom. But my bougie things, I like a logo. I like them to look expensive. Ryan's are, I don't want them to look expensive at all. I want them to look like they were possibly from home. an old, weird store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where I'm like, if I'm spending the money on it. But don't like, you want it to show that it was that much but money? Like, uh, whenever I buy anything luxury, I need it to be able to like withstand like the amount of things that I'm going to put it through. I go a lot of places. I do a lot of things. I use a lot of stainable materials. So if I buy like you know a two hundred dollar t shirt, didn't pay two hundred dollars. The nice it. thing about having something that Hubble is cheap about having something that looks already beat up is you don't have to have that feeling of like oh I can't God, do anything I need to keep with this these. Like if you had Louis Vuittons, like you're like I don't want to use them because oh, I, I just want them I would to never stay. buy them more at all. But then if you have Golden Goose, it's like oh I get another scuff. Oh, I get okay. pan on them, and I'm like, they went up in value. Yeah. I can charge more for them now. What brands would you consider your bread and butter? Uh, distressed, new label, American Eagle jeans, meaning anything from 2008 and newer. 10 out of That's 10. your bread and butter? Yeah, they always sell for $3. Ryan's openly lying. No, I He do does not. not sell American Eagle ever. Yes, I do. I sold like two pairs. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, what else is my bread and butter? Free people. Um, yeah. Hobo chic. Free people. Um, my Under Armour shorts. Twenty eighteen, not two thousand eight. Um, what else did I just recently like decide was my bread? Oh, Lucky Boots. That's an expensive. That's the most like bread and butter that it gets for me. Like I always sell mm -hmm. them quick. I always grab them when I see them. They um, always do well. Oh, uh, love your melon hats. That's a, yeah. And um, G. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> she goes, she goes um, G. um, G. I just sold, like, two this week. So, yeah, I love um, G. Don't pay out for it, though. You know, it's not worth more than four ninety nine. dollars No. No, ma'am. Um, do I have any other ones? Bread and butter. One time That's we a made a video stuff. of, like, fast flip brands and stuff. That would be a good one. Uh, Chaco sandals, if you find the mm -hmm. Z-strap. What not the, like, we're not talking about, like, you know, your grandmammy's ugly Chacos. They gotta be the Z-strap ones. Beautiful. What does it even say? She <laughs> says, I'm meddling in your election. Oh my gosh. No. No, ma'am. <laughs> don't need any of that. Speak of the devil. She just rated that Lulu bag five stars. She says, 
She I'm said leaving more. I was going to say, election. she's not leaving. <laughs> she says, it's just going to happen. Um, smart wall. We love smart, smart wall. wall. Yeah. I feel like bread and butter usually, though, is like stuff you find off then. Which, like, I don't find smart wall. Vladimir Putin in the house. Lucky booties? Yes. 100%. Yes, that's right. Those are like <coughs> my, if I had to pick one bread and butter, it'd be my <coughs> lucky booties. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Also, y'all want to see my lucky booties listings? It looks like a page of all of just like the same thing copy and pasted. It's kind of a nightmare. Oh, it's funny. Besides like this one. Well, that's why they gave you the thumbs down because we denounced them meddling in the election. It's just like same positioning, mm -hmm. same boot. Um, what would be? With like a few other things mixed in. It's oh, kind of a nightmare. Um, men's Lululemon like button downs. Like the polos with the full button downs, they literally always sell for me in like two days. And I love them. Do we have three thumbs downs? Okay, who's being that rude? The Russians. Someone please give us a thumbs up so it can the counter the thumbs blocked. downs. I did not know we had three thumbs downs. That's depressing. Y'all are boring. Okay, Bye. thanks. Um, That one free people beach cowl neck top. Oh, we just literally went up three thumbs up. So you guys are so nice. Love y'all. Ever heard of the brand Purple Snow? I have not. I haven't. Hmm. Um, another bread and butter for me is Free People Waffle Knit Thermals. Any color. Any size. They always do amazing. The ones Usually there's like a V here and they're kind of ruffly on the bottom. Or... Oh, we're up to 80 thumbs ups. We love them. 82. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Thank I don't care about the haters. I care about the lovers. You guys are so nice. Lovers and friends. We love you back. You guys are amazing. My I literally thought so whoever <laughs> Jaja actually. just said Casper and I thought she was going to talk about Casper mattresses. She's oh like, anytime Casper I find a Casper mattress, mattress at the bins, I put it on Poshmark. It sells within 10 minutes. I have the best night's sleep of my life. She turns into like You get somebody, a Casper memory foam she turns pillow into and somebody you can who like that eats in cigarettes and is trying minutes. to sell me a mattress in the box. <laughs> um, what is something that sells very well for me? Do thumbs down still count as payable? Honestly, I don't know what on eBay counts as payable. Manny flips out. What are you mad about? She's upset she by our, you... our accents. <laughs> She's like, I hate Casper mattresses. When that Casper mattress. Message returned. <laughs> <gasps> oh, she did the wrong emoji. <laughs> <laughs> um, Free People Thermals, Torrid, Emo. So, like, you know, kind of like gothy, like, there's a skull, it's black. Mm -hmm. That stuff does amazing. Yeah, we literally call it emo tour. And like, you know, that's probably Which is a little, not supposed to be like offensive. It's just like. That's probably a little unpc. It's kind of like, gothic. you know, gothy. Yeah. yeah. There's a skull on it, or it's got like a lace in the front, that kind of thing. Those do good. They sell quick. And last, it actually said something. Neither. Oh it's a nice guy. Which one you No, don't demonetize this one. There's so many words that trigger demonetization. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just get a list. We got a lot of haters. I don't think even though haters. that's not. I think hate. they're just teens that have nothing better to do. That's fine. Uh, torrid, yes, torrid. It's like torrid emo, as I call it. So like skulls, Dang. things with laces on it, that kind of thing. Cluelessly in style. With the honey with the honey boo boo family. Cluelessly in style said so she sold big stars in 30 minutes. Big star used to. be. I remember when I was in high school. And big stars were like the thing. If you had big star jeans, if you had rock revival jeans, if you had miss me's, you were like top tier. Whereas and I when, had, like I said, like when Goodwill started jeans. pricing it up, suddenly the value decreased. It seems like that's how it's how it goes. It went down, and I was like, okay. But also, though, like I really feel like rock revivals. I feel like are still kind of having a moment because, like, you know, people they like show cows and stuff. <laughs> Um, but like, I don't think anybody wears Miss Me's anymore, do they? Like the older ones, those like big, like, you know, you sit in a chair and you can hear like, ka -chunk when you sit down. Which ones? The Miss Me's? Yeah. The ones where like, if you sat on a plastic chair, it would yeah. sound like, like. Like when I remember scraping. vividly, when I was in seventh grade, they like banned them from some of my classrooms because they would like mess up the chairs. Like they would like mark up the chairs and stuff and the desks. Because the stones and those like metal like rivets were too big. Oof. Our 
are as efficient as well. Riley, I would still pick them up in the bins if they were new and like cute. And I'm probably, if they didn't sell well, I'd take them to a good setting. If I'm not mistaken, Play Doh's and like, you know, that whole kind of syndicate prices, like Big Stars, Mr. Me's Rock Revivals, still pretty high. Yeah, kinda, usually. Kind of behind the loop. L.L. Bean flies out of my store. That's interesting. Do you know who else loves L.L. Bean? Both of my parents. <laughs> they inhale it. There are Miss Me. For about $35. <laughs> okay, All the Newton Life, you should see Waterloo, Iowa. Wait, are you from Newton, Iowa? Newton Life. If you're from Newton, Iowa, girly, I got two words. Get out. Doc Martin boots, yes, those are really good. Oh my too. god, we love Doc Martens. I have two pairs of sandals, pair of boots. They're my favorite things ever. They wear beautifully, and we just re them a little bit. They're perfect. Miss me is everything in Texas. I feel like Texas is definitely going to be an exception to that rule. Yeah. For many reasons. I'm just interested. Everybody comment your highest flip ever. <coughs> Ooh. You're, li you're like your highest price sale, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. I just want to, like, I'm just interested. Super blinked pockets. Not It doesn't have to be your highest profit. Just what is your, like, most What's mine? Expensive. Let's find out. Mine's definitely the Montclair. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna go. Which sold for five hundred ninety dollars, and I paid ten. Mine, uh, it's a tie between two. It is these old Gringo Silver Tassel Western Ankle Booties. These were from the bins. I sold them for two hundred and fifty dollars. And the next is this Rag and Bone uh, Men's Salute Terrace Windbreaker. I also sold it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Super cute. And then it goes to like a Louis Wallet, Giuseppe's, two Brahmins, a Kate Spade, some other jeans. Nineteen thirties dress for six hundred dollars. Okay, but like that some of that like nineteen thirties stuff Karen. is like insane. It's like lavender, lavender clothesline. She's like, oh look at this. Bring a ten. Look at this. Oh, like did I not say? Tell me what the item was too, not just the price. <laughs> Free um, birds. Okay. See. Oh, if you find free birds, free bird shoes. Free bird sneakers look good. like golden goose sneakers. Oh you can still sell them for like one hundred twenty bucks. Gucci Princeton oh meals. <laughs> she only sells for a hobby, but her still a Big Mac's best for 175 That's good. Good for Damn. you, Big Mac. Damn. $750 for Gucci Princeton meals. Where did you get those? Lindsay, let's talk. <gasps> let's collaborate. Someone sold Ming Wang for 120 Please tell me, Katie, where did you sell Ming Wang? I used to find it all the time, but it like higher price sale. Magnolia so. Pearl. I remember I saw the cutest what the kimono. Hell is it no, but okay. Remember Magnolia Pearl? I think she is that lady from Free People who makes like rags. The one that you'd seen it at St. Louis Park in the consignment store, and you saw it there. Yeah. No. Um. Remember that denim star kimono? That was like it was like a full length denim kimono no. with stars on it. And I was like, oh my God, what is this Magnolia Pearl? And her only store is in like a barn in Atlanta. And it's just like 1800s rags. And it's like thousands and thousands of dollars. It is How can expensive. you sort for that? You could go to your closet, switch it to sold availability, and, and then, then do it right a high. So like a Smith share. blazer for 165. I found my first Smith blazer this last year. Okay, I'm gonna blow my nose. I'm Sorry, everybody. Yeah, get ready for the noise. A Terry McGlair <laughs> never found 250. <laughs> Patagucci. What is that? Do for tell. 230 bucks. Eileen Fisher for 150. Yes. Dang, Damn. sister Joy. Some old lady said, "Oh, I'm about to pop off my Eileen's." Then just dress shoe. Vintage dress shoes for one fifty. Well, yeah, obviously, I like need to dressing. step into the vintage world. Nineteen fifty stamped Miriam Haskell necklace for one eighty eight. A necklace? Oh my gosh! Eighty five for Burks. Okay, well that's high for Burks though. So like, wait, Connor. Oh, Connor. I know you from Instagram. Hi, Connor. Who's Connor? Connor, remember, he's the one who's like, he's like, I am like 15 years old, but I'm literally running like a corporation. He's like, I'm doing better than all of you, but like. <laughs> Connor. Yeah. It is past your bedtime. It's 1030. <laughs> Connor. I can tell that's his picture. No freaking way. Connor, you blow my mind. Please. Okay. 175 for Pendleton. Don't tell me I you wish. surpassed me. 
Thank you. Wait, a thousand for what? When I saw an original Indiana Jones poster signed for a thousand? Oh my gosh. Where do you guys find this stuff? Patagonia. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm just an idiot. 350 Canada Goose. Okay, I want to find Canada Goose. That is like my goal for this year. I would love to find Canada Goose. Mod cloth for 99. That's pretty good. Dang. Everlane shoes for 120. If you can find some Everlane shoes, you are in the money. They sell really fast and really well. 310 for Frida Salvador boots. Oof. Dang. Doc Martens and Lazy O, Ryan. Oh, Ryan me. loves Lazy O. Lazy O for, for $350. Oh, their collabs are insane. This video is turning into me just like being shocked being that you like, guys are all so impressive. Goop scooped and hope that these people probably these $350 dollars for in 70s Nike. My Pink godfather wheel. used to run Paramount Pictures. Jody, what is your life? Can you can we like just come to your house and just like look? Uh, hey, not best. Connor, can Hermes you Hermes belt for four fifty? Can you come to Posh Fest? Can we get your mom to take you to Posh Fest? Because don't you have to be eighteen? Yeah, I think so. We'll get you John Barbados. We'll get you goat a fake college jacket ID for eight fifty. Okay, Anka or Anka? Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Was that on eBay? I'm just wondering. Sorrel boots for three sixty. Damn. I wish. The... Jack, I should hire you to help me price my death. Y'all. I am like blown away. I thought I Men's was impressive with my mom Claire and you guys bomber. are like Oh my god. I don't know, like her dem. Oh my god. I have never found her dem before. I've seen it I've never in consignment either. stores and it has been expensive and I wish I found it. Price a pair what would you price a pair of Alexander McQueen Chelsea boots? Oof. Oh a lot. Lord. Also, Over three fifty at least. Unless they're like, you know, are they? Are, wait, what is? Are they MCQ? Oh, sorry, Alex, are they sued. McQueen? Alexander McQueen? Or are they Alexander McQueen? Because like that makes sense. Jody, write a book about it. You know, I would like to read that, or like write a about paper. what the things she's seen and heard in the studios because her dad owned. Oh my gosh! Yeah, literally, write a book. I would love that. Um, it's embarrassing to be some Connor said hi, let me try. Good. We'll get you a fake college ID if you need to go over 18. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, it's 12, one under 60. Okay, off lips count though. Like, are you kidding? Some of these are blowing me away. Like, oh my god, Ashley, I, I remember do, like when I first started it, I found a little lemon top of Goodwill, the ugliest long sleeve ever. It was like three forty nine, and I was like, "Oh my god, I found the little under screen!" I'm so happy, and I sold it for like seventeen dollars. Like, oh, okay, money. I'm gonna try helping. It was fade or faded. Straight and it's gonna look really hot. Let's see. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh. Alexander, I love Alexander McQueen. I've never found Alexander McQueen. I've, I've never seen even before. seen Alexander McQueen. I've before. seen it before at like Nordstrom, but I've never actually like. Um, like found it or not found it? Well, I've never found it like secondhand. Okay, so um, they looks like they retail around like seven hundred. You paid thirteen hundred dollars. So if they were like good. new, I'd probably list them at like four, like four fifty. And if they're like normal condition, I'd probably do about three fifty. Want to get me a face? <laughs> Riley, we'll just like draw some Sharpie hair over my old ID. I think you can just borrow that. Oh my gosh. Lindsay's like, I paid $1,300 for my $1,900 Montclair and didn't wear it. But I can't sell it because I won't get enough money to feel good. Dang. I wish I could go for that. I don't understand it. I'm so mean to my winter coats. Me too. And I, I don't have ever a Burberry wash one them. and I have like, like hurt her. This like, winter. I'm, you know, I got places to go. I don't got time to, like, you know, dry clean it when I'm cold and need it. But I'm just like, oh, you know, if I really comes down to it, I'll just get a new one. Like, I don't pay retail for anything. My North Face jacket is a $350 yeah, down jacket, and I bought it for $30. My Burberry jacket's like a $1,200 jacket, and I paid like 120 
<laughs> you can't be getting no one a fake ID. <laughs> yeah, don't say that, right? That's <laughs> not good for you to say. I never would. We respect the law. Some people message me about wanting me to be a speaker at Flash Fest. Not sure I feel about that. Oh my God. We want to be. We'll take your spot. <laughs> no, can you speak with us? It'd be so much fun. If you can get in. <laughs> Have your mom come. You know, it'll be fine. She can just sit in the car all day. Oh my gosh. I want to speak at Posh well, Fest so I bad. would not speak at Posh Fest, but I feel like here. As long as they wouldn't just give us like some trash thing to talk about. They're just like, you're going to talk about the boutique markets. I don't know a damn thing about the boutique markets, so that wouldn't end well. Yeah. Um, no, here's my fear. I would get up you're there gonna talk and talk about new markets. <laughs> like, I have a witch cackle of a laugh. Like, it's awful. So, like, Amanda Weiss or, you know, World Gold Mining would ask me a question, and I would just, like, cackle into this microphone, and everybody would just go deaf. You know? Or like, you'd just blow your nose, and everyone would lose, <laughs> lose their vision and hear it at the same time. <laughs> like, it'd be awful. If you speak at Posh Fest, I would go, oh my gosh. Katie, oh go anyway. Okay, it's amazing. So I think when they announce Posh Fest, you can like apply to be like possibly a speaker. We gonna go. And then people can like, what is it? Like, <gasps> like nominate, nominate you. you. Please nominate us. All of you nominate us. When please, that please, 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 please. So I think it'd be so much fun. I just want to get up there and just like talk to people. It's tax deductible. I was gonna say, can we just go up and just Posh like have a Posh. conversation? You know what? That's just what like I would a Q and A, but not like a Q and A about us. Just like ask us about anything, and we'll just. I would talk just about like it. you know talk to me. Just be like, like I don't know, like what today? do you usually put yeah. in your mashed potatoes? I'd be like butter. Oh my god! I'd be like anything. Kylie Jenner. I'd be like, how do you make ramen? <laughs> you make good ramen. It's tax deductible. True, Posh Fest is tax deductible. Go the to whole Posh thing. Fest. You know, if you go to lunch, yes. If you valet the rental car, they will ask people. you guys. I hope so. Okay. My thought and theory I would love is that ask us. like most people who like have a stake in the like posh community, whatever you want to call that, like have a decent amount of following, like people whatever have like, have they like, like already been they've already spoke, but we haven't. Well, like Denali, Nicole Denali spoke has, last year. Denali Nicole, spoke, I feel like a few years. Yeah, Nicole Haley did, Haley did, Nick spoke, did. Nick has spoke. Um, Houston Exchange did. Laura. La the Deal La Queen did. Yeah, Alex. Has Jenna. Houston Jenna Exchange. did. Jenna spoke. Jenna spoke a few times, I think. Um, um, it's everybody has. The only know. one who hasn't is Savannah, but I don't think she wants to. Also, honestly. she pregnant. She ain't got that kind of time for yeah, those speeches. I know. I know. She might not even be able to go. Well, okay. No, she she's due in August. Like June or July? No. Is it? It's like summer. So. Choice. Like we. They're like no one's left. Why do I feel like it'll be like that one scene if you've ever seen Chicken Little, where Chicken Little goes up to bat oh and the coach gosh. just goes, "Next is yeah, Chicken Little." And everybody <laughs> in the audience just goes. Manish like, just why does that about him? us? He why just goes. Now? He's just like, and next up to talk is Jackie Ryan. Laura and like Denali in the back just go like, why now? Just like, ew. That would be funny. That would be. <laughs> Can you imagine? Do you want to tell that Ryan references Chicken Little? Oh, I love Chicken Little. I don't. It's a good movie. You know, it it's a wholesome movie about friendship, loss, love, and parenthood. Mm, okay. The amount of times Ryan does it. Pop. I do that because my lips are sandpaper. I'm the same. Yeah. Posh games. Yeah, we are the posh kings. We're the posh kings now. Well, they are. We're the real ones. So. <laughs> that would be funny. Mike, why are you panting? It's not hot in here. He continues to just. <sighs> Art Baron. No freaking way, Jody. Your grandfather's Damn. Art Baron? Are you kidding me? I saw an Indiana Jones poster. She was in the Bad News Bears. Okay, you Jody, like live this legacy. Whatever. Jody, write a book. <laughs> Literally, like please. We're like, five away it. from a hundred thumbs up. If a hundred of you will give us a thumbs up, we'll love you forever. Or we'll do another live. How about that? If not, you'll never see us again. Yeah, or else we're <laughs> deleting our channel. 
your godfather. <gasps> Please tell me. Oh, did you guys see original. my new bag? I revealed it on Instagram, so I can show it on here now if you want to see. My auntie's a big luxury bag it? lady, I'll so Jack and her talked about <gasps> 99. Talked about bags. We get to 100, we'll show the bag. We'll show, go get <laughs> okay. the bag. I'll show you my new bougie bag. Mandy goes, LV. Oh, I wish I had an LV bag, but I'm too mean to my bags. My bags get swung around so much that, like, my poor little Fendi pom pom I have on the one I have now is like. She's flying all over the place. She loses some fur because I got stuck in the zipper, but that's okay. Um, Godfather V is normal. I've never seen Bad News Bears, but it's one of my parents. It's my dad's, like, one of his favorite movies. I really want to make a reference to the first SpongeBob episode where he goes, Okay, this is, so Jody said this is how old she is. This is how young we are. There's an episode of SpongeBob where it's, like, the Krusty Krab training manual. And in the big scene where the Krabby Patty gets revealed, it's the announcer going, like, And he goes, it's just look it up. It's really funny. Here's my new big pick. It is the Louis Vuitton Floral Lock Me Mini Backpack. She's so cute. She's so pretty. I went into the Louis store. That's not where I bought it from. Yeah. But I went into the Louis store me. like way back and I saw these Lock Me backpacks and I was like dead obsessed the moment I saw them. Well, yeah, so it looks really inside. Also fun, fun random fact. I never knew this, but it has this it's gonna be hard stamp. to see stamp. You can Ooh. hardly see it. It's like a circle stamp and it has a V right there. You can kind of see one side. That means that it was an employee purchase. Mm. Never knew that. Not mm. that like we're all like thrifting LVs, but if you do, it's just a fun fact. Um I but person. I got this from Fashion File. I used my real, real credit, like I cashed out on the real, real one month, and I used it at Fashion Files <laughs> to treat myself. And so I got this. <coughs> and my mom gave me this Coach Lightning Bolt. Because you got a lightning bolt. Because I have a lightning bolt tattoo. It's so cute. Um. Yeah. I love it. And it's adorable, and I love it. Also, it came with literally the most dainty, tiny straps ever. So these are replaced because I didn't yeah. want to use. They're literally like this. I'm almost thing. 40 and don't care. Like SpongeBob. Good for you, Heather. Love SpongeBob. Okay, my big treat yourself. Oh, I thought like... she said, I don't care or like SpongeBob. <laughs> I was like, this, this is not the channel for you. Um, my big treat yourself in Louis Vuitton is I'm going to Paris over the summer with my family for spring break. Over the summer. Wow. Um, for spring break. And I am going to go to Louis Vuitton, one of them, because there's like 150 in the city. Um, and I am going to get my key clay. I've had one before. I have a vintage one. I love it. The zipper broke, so I'm going to sell that one and get my new one. And I'm if I walked in a Louis store, they would say, what's with this unshowered girl in leggings? Yeah, no, that's very me. Um, I wear an orange Muppet jacket everywhere and beat up sneakers, okay. so they think I'm poor. So, like, this holds, like, a decent amount. This is the mini size. It holds a lot for Like, this is my big honestly. wallet, so, like, it can fit my big wallet, and, like, I can put the my sunglasses in here and whatever, but there also is, like, a not... Oh There's also, not like, a not mini version that's bigger, so... There's a, there's, it's not, like, a school backpack size. It's, no. like, a laptop bag. It's probably size. more of a men's size. I probably should have got that, but, like, yeah. This was the one they had. If you're smelly. The answer to both of those questions, Pets, is unfortunately yes. <laughs> for him. Not unfortunate for me. I live a good life. Paris is amazing. I would know. I've been to like two or three states in the U.S. So. I am so I think excited. I enjoy SpongeBob because his mouth is like so true. <laughs> um, I went once when I was 14 or 15. I was a kid. Um, and I went and we stayed at, of all places, we stayed at a Hilton right down the street from the Eiffel Tower. Uh, so we got to see a light up at night. And Jack's mom is very jealous of that because she was in Paris. <laughs> We're not going to read that one out loud. Woof, that's the worst one of the day. Where did it, where did it go? <laughs> okay, so Riley. Isn't it still there? Yeah, it, like sometimes it takes a second. 
So Riley, <laughs> um, I really like fossil bags too. Oh my God, they're saying. amazing. We were I actually just today, we we're talking about how underrated fossil is. Also, um, we cannot afford anything in the Louis store either. Oh, like we are no, way we too poor for that. the Louis store. Like even if I had that much money, I don't want to. No. The um, one thing I may consider buying retail from Louis Vuitton is my key ball. I want a monogrammed key ball with an R on the front. I want to use it as my teacher bag. That's it. That's all I want. But I always, we have this place called the Galleria in Minnesota, and it's it has like, like a Louis Star, it has a Lulu, it has Eileen Fisher, it has... There's a L'Occitane. L'Occitane. And I go take the lotion because birch. my hands are always dry. It's like a bougie, bougie, they like They got a Tumi, which I oh, didn't yeah. know Tumi actually they had They have a Johnny Wes store now. They have a free people store. They have a Sunday store. And there's a store. Nick and Zo. It's like Dude. Louis Vuitton. To me, Tory Burch, Nick and Zoe. It's kind <laughs> but of funny. So Nick every once in a while we go there and we like play this like act of like we play. We the put role. on our nicest we clothes. We put on the nice and we walk thing. in and we're just like mm. we tour around. We the belong mall. here, and then we leave and we're like that was fun, but like I couldn't afford anything there. <laughs> I did though. We love. I love that Lululemon. They have a massive Lululemon, and I met the nicest girl. At the Lululemon. She and saw us and she's like, why Michaela. are you going so fast? And I was, and I was like, like, we like you already. You're so sweet. She's a dancer on the Minnesota Timberwolves, the basketball team, whatever it is. But now she was in California with her boyfriend. She was so sweet. All these people who've been to Paris. I, my grandma is very like, okay, so she's the one who's like, I want to go before I kick the bucket. She's 82 and she's just like, I'm counting my time. You know, that whole moment. Um, She's very like, thinks it'll be like, Paris from like the World War II movies she's seen, where it's this very idyllic like it's black and white. Well, it's this very idyllic like people in the cabaret with like long cigarettes, like having like you know, cavalier. But it's very like crowded, poverty, tourism, burnt down church because Notre Dame burned down. So, I think she's I think she's gonna have a good time. And, like, I'm going to have a good time because, like, I cannot wait to go to the Louvre again because, oh, Mona Lisa. Um, but, like, ugh, I think it will be kind of... Paris has amazing And then me, I've been to South Dakota, Arizona, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. I heard Paris has amazing And New York. Rays. I think it'd be That's fun all. to just, like, be a fly at a wall in a Parisian rave. That would be fun. Oh, the life of the wealthy. Not, my parents didn't pay for it. This is all Marilyn's dime, you know? <laughs> she said, I want to go to Paris. But we're all staying in a big apartment, like an Airbnb, all five of us. Oh, it's going to be a long week. It's a six hour flight from Minneapolis to Reykjavik, Iceland, which is our stopover. And I think Marilyn didn't pay for first class like she did the last time we all flew to Europe. So she is going to have a very hard time adjusting to coach. I know. We are not sharing to the party right now. I'm sharing some here. Oh, thank you, Newton <gasps> thank Life. Thank you, Newton Life. Okay, while know, you're here, haven't... are you from Newton, Iowa? Tell me. Because if yes, leave. We haven't <laughs> shared anything all day. So... Mm. I've had one sale today. It was twenty two bucks. We've been so busy, mm -hmm. but yeah. Usually when we do these lives, we don't have time to share. So like, we sacrifice for you guys. I like uh. your matching cups. Thank you. Poshmark sent me all these. They sent me like eight of them. I don't know How why. How old were you when they sent them to you? Like twenty, but like they don't even know that. Mm -hmm. No, I bought one at Poshfest. and then they probably sent because me... you posted a picture using it. They were like, "Oh, he's over twenty. Well, I posted a picture on my 21st birthday. Oh. Um, and then they sent me two white ones and three more black ones. So we have like a set. No, we have cups. two blacks and two white ones. So they sent me two, one more black one and then one, mm -hmm. two more white ones. I love them. Um, no, Lindsay, here's the thing. The exchange rate is popping right now from US dollars to euros. So sis, my sister is going to go buy a bunch oh. of bags. Okay, keep continuing. Then and then I am going to go to um, Louis in a department store because I don't feel like going to like Louis Vuitton. Like the actual store, I'm going to go to the one at like the whatever the big French bougie department stores. 
Newton Did life is raging podcast. loons. I see them share my stuff. Oh. Thank you for always sharing my stuff. <laughs> I see you share my stuff on Flash like all the time. Also, since you're raging loons, you. I assumed you're from Minnesota. So he assumed you're from Iowa. I assumed you're from Minnesota, but because you're not. Newton. You're from California. Wow. Okay. So there's a town in Iowa called Newton, Iowa. Horrible. But First they send you cups, then they send you to Posh list. Okay, I wish. At Posh Mark. Um, Jaja, I would do more thrifting in Iceland, but the exchange rate. Okay, Ooh. so. The Iceland money is called kroners, like kronar, kroner, and the exchange rate is so off. It's like, last time I went, it was like seven US dollars is like a kroner. It's so expensive. So I like, I went to some vintage stores this time I was there and I tried to like, you know, shop, but I was like, I literally am spending like three to four times my U.S. money in Icelandic money, so it's just not worth it. But the airport, the exchange rate is much lower because duty free. So I will get a couple of souvies from the Iceland airport. They have a lovely bathroom. Simply Dana, Donna, Dana said Dana. Northern Lights in Iceland are a must. Fun fact: in Minnesota, you can see you can see Northern Lights, and I am from the lake pumped. that's from the lake that's behind my parents' house. I've seen the Northern Lights before. It was like the coolest thing, and it's not that ever. north. It was so cool. Like, don't be a bum. That was awesome. iconic. You've been to Iceland? Question mark. That's in my bucket list. Who said that? Um, Asia. Um, Asia. Oh Asia my was God. back. Even though it's amazing. Awesome. Everything is so, um, like gray it's very pretty <laughs> um and i'm convinced i saw bjork oh did i ever tell you this i love bjork if you know me i love two women bjork and jodie foster they're like famous when do you do anything about bjork i love bjork you don't listen to bjork i do no you don't uh, well, okay some of her new stuff's a little eh, some of her older stuff is a lot better mm -hmm. um but when i was in downtown reykjavik keflavik which is like not the capital city like the next biggest city I went into a coffee shop because I was like, oh my God, it's like four in the morning, my time. And I have like a day of stuff I need to do. So I went to go get a coffee and the woman leaving the coffee shop, right? As I was like coming in, I'm a hundred percent convinced it was Bjork. She's like, oh, I like cats. That's she was like, like I'm not kidding. When I say she was my sister's height, my sister's <laughs> tiny. My sister's only five foot. She was five foot and she had this big black ponytail Tony Foster, and a son and like, okay, I saw Jodie Foster Ryan at the Anthropology the in New York, and I was so nervous I didn't say hi. Ryan I likes just the left. movie Contact, and he I has a t-shirt contact. contact. It's like the worst movie ever made. Thumbs down if you hate Contact. No, I love Contact. It's an amazing movie. Um, I'm almost positive it was her in the Anthropology in the Twin City, in the Twin Cities, the Twin Towers um, complex in New York, and I was too nervous to go say hi because she was shopping, and I didn't want to bother her. I love her, but no, I'm convinced it was Bjork only because she had a child and the son looked to be the age that Bjork's child would be only from um, her little issue she had in the Philippines when she beat up all those uh, paparazzis. Oh. Okay, in her defense, they were like hounding her poor kid. So okay, Mama guys. Bear goes off. It's 11 now. But you, none of you are like leaving, which makes me so happy. Like we're still at 136 views. Like no. nobody's leaving, which again, like y'all are so nice. It's been two hours. And you guys are you. still here. It's been two hours and three minutes. But like, now, so listen to me ramble about Jodie Foster and York. But like, <laughs> it's, it's 11 bad. here. And like, well, it's not time for bed. But like, time for me to go take a shower. My face is burning from this light, and like, we need to like clean, slide out. So yeah. like, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to the people that super chatted us. We love you so much. Like, that means so much. Not we didn't get a share, so you made up for our, like, lack of sales from sharing. <laughs> yeah. And then thank, thank you, you, everyone, that, like, thumbs up. We're at 106. That's, like, crazy. Damn. It's totally Even though crazy there's, like, apparently wrong. three that thumbs us down. Like, whatever. It's the meddling again. But, oh, my gosh, y'all. It's midnight for some of you. Okay. Go to bed. Go to bed. We're not going to hold you. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna let you go now. We're at 107. Thank you to the person that just liked. Oh, um, but yeah. Now I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna go do. Okay, a face big mask. drift. Just rewatch it over again. Once then, we end it, yeah. it'll be a regular video. But you know, we're trying to kind of do like lives. Hopefully, like maybe every other weekend. They're fun. They I are fun. We love talking with you guys. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so 9 p.m. in Cali. 
So I wish. Thank you guys for joining us. Night, night. We love Bye, all Cynthia. of you so Have much. Nice night. And we will see you Tuesday I with the second part of our haul, and then on Thursday with, I think it's ten more bolos. It's going up. So almost positive. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.